Well, hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome to festivities. KB, Karen Bryant with you. And I'm already going to bring my little light a little bit closer. How are you? Welcome to episode 80, though, I should say. Tonight, KG, KB and KG getting the band back together. Uh, Kelvin Gastelum will be with us tonight. I'm very excited about this. I'm a big KG fan. Uh... I just am. So I'm very excited to catch up with him. Um, and, and, and bless his heart, he had to jump through some hoops to get here with us tonight. So thank you for that, Kelvin, in advance. Let's see, let's bring this closer. And um, yeah, I think that's better. Hi, how are you? Uh, did you guys notice I, I got the, um, the uh, intro right? See, I fixed it. Last week I had forgotten to update it with the music i remember it this time uh what up life logic sam og well thank you i appreciate it i guess i kind of am you know and I, I i do take pride in that do you know that uh literally to oh gosh i should look on the exact day i should i should look while we're doing this show we should look together the ufc show in sweden was the first show that i did with them so it literally was in april so it's like my 11 year anniversary right about now or like maybe a couple of days ago it might be april 12th for some reason i feel like it might have been april 12th but anyway yeah 11 years isn't that wild so uh and before that you know i had been covering mma so I've been, I've been covering MMA since about 2007, combat sports since 2006, late, late 2005, 2006. So yeah, I guess I've been here um, long enough. Hi. Uh, saludos, he, he, Jesus, how are you? Um, hi, <laughs> Mulatto Vanguard. Hi. Hi, I just said hi to you. Um, you know, uh, Jesus, I did not watch Tank versus Ryan, so you guys are going to have to fill me in on that one. And maybe when Hanato gets here, he will, uh, maybe he will have watched it as well. Um, I should say, uh, for those who don't know, if you guys haven't ever joined us before, uh, Festivities is a, uh, a show that I do with Hanato Laranja, 27 time Jiu Jitsu world champion. He is Brazilian. You know, if I were to give his backstory, I would say, like, imagine a guy that was raised in, and I think this is partly true, raised in the favelas and then, but, like, had videotapes, basically, of, like, old crap. And then came here to the States, too, and saw, you know, kind of got indoctrinated with some kind of outdated, um... Well, just like outdated ideas about how men and women work and stuff like that. So, you know, at times he will say the wrong thing, um, but at times he will probably say the exact thing that a lot of people are thinking. We are not overly politically correct here. If you are sensitive, this is not the show for you. And uh, not by a lot, not, not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it is oftentimes not safe for work. And it is generally, though, a lot of fun. My idea for this, I really, my dream job is to have a late night talk show. I'm trying to speak this into existence. So this, this is kind of my sandbox and my kind of playground for that on YouTube. And some of the things we do here will be, oh, that reminds me, things that I would love to do on a, on a talk show that I want to have and that I will have at some point because... It has to happen. It's like my life's mission. It, it, it really is. What up, DB the Wizard? Hey, hey, hey. He is like a child support superhero. That's a good way of phrasing uh, what Hinato is. Child support superhero. Child support avoidance superhero, I suppose. That's what, that's what he is. Hey, but listen, I remembered to make this week a hit list. So here's what is coming up. So yes, we got KG. Coming up, um, I do, I just, I'm a, I just, I love that dude. Big fan. That's another thing I forgot to do. I got, I can do that maybe while we're talking is look up the first time that I interviewed Kelvin way back at King's. So I've been a fan for just a really long time and a big supporter and I think he's great. And so I uh, always love talking to him, always love catching up with him. So we will talk to him. Then we will also recap what happened this past Saturday at UFC Vegas 71 with Sergei Pavlovich defeating Curtis Blades by knockout first round. So that is, I believe, six in a row for Sergei. He is really on a tear. The guy is just kind of a machine. And, you know, 
is starting to really look like he is on his way to a title shot. So we'll talk about that and some of the other fights. I was quite impressed with Bruno Silva, that Brad Tavares, woo, woo, fireworks. So we have some highlights of that too if we want to talk about that. Uh, we have Chidi's Choice. We did not have Chidi last week. I'm sorry for that, but we have his pick for uh, Song Yudong versus Ricky Simone. That is happening this weekend at UFC Vegas 72 out in Vegas. I am working that one. I will have my dudes Alan Joban and Mike Chiesa with me. So very excited about that. Get my, my dudes back, my welterweight dudes. Uh, so we, I will be at the desk this weekend, and that will be a lot of fun. So we'll talk about that fight. And then Hanach was going through Insta and found these hilarious, if not freakishly weird and slightly off-putting, um, AI versions of some of your favorite celebs. But they race swapped him. So um, they are a little bit disturbing. So you may want to check that out. Uh, I mean, you may want to stay with us to check that out. Uh, I've got them for you. I've got the pictures. And we've got about like eight pictures of, uh, of some celebs that are pretty pretty weird. And then also, um, oh, I, there's some a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Maybe we'll get into this before Hinata gets here. A couple of cases with some musicians in court uh, about a couple of things. And then also... Um, uh, some some sequels, some movie sequels that were coming up. I found that I heard that they're going to make Beetlejuice. Now they've been talking about that for a little bit, but that's one that I'm very excited about. Which ties into actually, um, we should say rest in peace, Harry Belafonte, because uh, he passed away I believe 94 or five or so. So sounds like he lived a good life. And you remember from Beetlejuice, jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you. So I've been hearing that a lot on the radio today. Um, so rest in peace, Harry Belafonte, uh, Jr., right? Because, man, he was he was great. Man, a handsome, handsome fella. What a handsome fella. And just so impactful and so likable. A lot of people <laughs> used to kind of say I looked like his daughter, Sherry, which I don't really think that I do. But I met Harry, actually, funny story was at a screening oh gosh gosh which movie was it though at a screening of a movie actually this is funny what a funny memory I just had and he fell asleep next to me and my friend at this screening it was in a little private screening room but we were like oh but it's okay because it's Harry Belafonte oh man what a funny weird memory I just got huh Wow. But anyway, rest in peace. Uh, dude was dude was good. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. But. So, okay, anyway, yeah. Uh, I, uh, yeah, he was a legend, though. He was a legend. Oh, uh, yeah, Mulatto Vanguard uh, talking about the Van, uh, Nolan's police looking for Nate. So we all probably saw that videotape, right? We all, we all saw it. Um, I don't know if you don't know, now you do. Over here, KB is strongly Team Diaz, always has been, always will be. So, F around, find out is how I feel about that. Uh, but also, it definitely looked like the person was being aggressive towards Nate, and it looked like that was completely self defense. And to me, it also looked like he took the most humane way out of it by submission. So, Team Nate. Hashtag team Nate. That's right. Nate Diaz Army. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hey, listen, Richard Giosio. He said Hanach told him to be here. That's great. All right. Jits Life, you subbed. Thank you for that. Hey, you know, listen, you bring up a good point. Thank you for that. Um, on my channel here, I have, uh, like I was saying before, I've been covering uh, MMA and combat sports for quite some time so I have a lot of videos going back and like that like thousands of videos so I'm talking thousands so I, yeah like so um tons of interviews with people you know open workouts and press conferences and all kinds of stuff weigh in all stare down funny things so if you subscribe to my channel then just go mess around so I have a different I have different playlists you know I have a playlist for festivities and I have a playlist for um, you know, just like UFC stuff in general, that's like where, uh, and you guys, if you guys don't know, like every week when there are fights, I put up the main event 
um, you know, interviews for you. Some of those are co-main as well, but always you'll at least get the main event interviews, you know, when they do their whole media day. So you can come here and just check those out. I just put them up unedited. Um, and I, uh, I make them a look and sound a little bit better though than some other sites. So, uh, you may want to come and check mine out. <clears throat> But yeah, so I have that and I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of videos that you could literally spend a lot of time going down a rabbit hole and just things with a lot of fighters and people who are either now retired or in the Hall of Fame and or both or, you know, I've got the first interview like I think I interviewed Joanna Young Jacek like the first time for her fight after her first fight in the UFC and stuff like that. So a lot of cool stuff if you want to go and just kind of take a dive and and just kind of mess around. It's not shameless. It's my channel. How is it shameless if it's my channel? You gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta promote your own stuff. That's not, that's a, so no, in the, in the background, ah, this is Wayne Newton, you guys. Um, that is Wayne Newton. He is, of course, a, uh, a beloved, you know, Las Vegas performer, and he is, uh, just really a living legend. Um, and he is a big fan of mine. Signed that to me after we work together um, because he appreciates how great I am. So sometimes I work with talent that appreciates the gift and um, shows up on time and, you know, recognizes the opportunity that they have when, when, they, when they work with me. And then there's Hanato Laranja. So apparently he's here now. Um, I see that he's here. Uh, he knows the show starts at 7 and yet he comes well, on his own time. But here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Ah. Hinata Laranja, hi. Oh, hi. How are Already you? Already started with the Souch, the Souch and Papa. It, you know, it takes, it, it takes a, it, you might think that this just grow on the trees, okay? Dude. But you know how much aloe vera and how much ho, ho, jojoba oil, it, it, ho, ho, ba, oh. uh, and how many cucumbers I have to put on my eyes and wait for that one? Uh, to look like this, to came out looking like this, got on you. Okay, I could say something mean, so I won't, but I won't. Uh, you you look very nice, Hanato. Thank you. You thank You're you for doing ass. whatever it is, whatever that routine is to get you here. Thank you for it. Well, you you know what? It's the least I can do, for huh? You know, so some people go, appreciate though. Over over yeah, I appreciate over on IG. You 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 told people to come over here. Thank you. For oh, that. I got them coming. But let me just tell you something. Um, okay, so let me be. Before we, we address this um, uh, earlier, the sound, I want to make sure I'm on it. I didn't saw on here any mm -hmm. option. I just see off mic and on mic. Okay, so you don't see an option to lower. Okay, because folks, we just were trying to get some things here that like, you know, to get make sure our volumes are all the same. So let me see now that you're here with me. But yeah, see, it doesn't give me the chance to, oh wait, guess, let's see. Yes. No. Nope, no. Nope. Yeah. It doesn't give me the chance to adjust your mic on. So the only thing I just did is I just turned my volume that I'm hearing yeah. you way down. I don't mm -hmm. know if that make a difference, but it's, I can barely hear you though. Now that I do that. Yeah. No. You should turn it. Turn it up. Okay. I think that's okay. I, I think that's. So I, think I don't know. I I don't know. It's powerful. You know. I got the most expense, so it's more powerful. Yeah. Than it's funky. Yours I'm, must be I'm, not as expensive as the one I have. So I guess. Well. No, Maybe you can't afford that one, but no, I can't. It, I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, but Hanato, um, I, 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 I want. There's a lot to catch up on. But look at our guest is here. Oh, uh, oh wait, Hanato. Now you're gone. You froze and you broke up, and I can't invite our guest in if you're not here. Like, come back. Where'd you go? Get out. I'm removing you. I'm gonna count to ten. Inside my head, I got our guest on time, rock and roll, very excited. Uh, and if the Nats can't get his thing together, I'm just going to have to go with this. But I, I know he was frozen, so we need to get him back. We need to get him back. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Hanato, there you are. Am I here? You're here, but you're glitchy. Huh. Let me try some stuff. Hold on. Okay, quickly, because yeah. Quickly. Hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck. I know. Fuck I don't up. want to stress. I don't want to stress. I just cool out. Perfect. Cool your heel. <laughs> we just need everything oh. just right. 
so listen, folks, uh, if you guys didn't see it before, KG was on episode 29 of our show, too. So he was an early adopter of this show. Um, if we didn't love him enough before, then we, we loved him for that as well, right? I don't know, but I didn't hear shit. Am I back or no? You're back. I think your mouth is maybe not lined up. The audio and the video maybe aren't. Oh, but I think it's, um, you know, some, hold on. I got to heat boot this now. Okay, quick, quick. Unbelievable. One of these days, folks, we'll get a producer. We'll have a studio. I'll tell you, i tell you, what we're giving the people is something that they can't. It's like Saturday Night Live. A lot of these other ones, it's not live, Carayo. So when you have a live TV, you have your fucking issues. Facts. Facts. But okay. well, they, they're they flying by. Facts on facts on facts on facts on. Are we here? Am I we are here. synced up? We are here and we're synced up and we're ready to go. We're ready to welcome our guest. Let me just make sure I got to look. I was going to say, for, shake uh, it off. And, and by the way, nice outfit. And look, I'm getting sweaty. Huh? I said, I guess we got the dress code tonight with the tanks. I know you're copying me again. Working you don't want to see me outshine you. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God, you? you know him. You met him first on The Ultimate oh, Fighter. Oh, he became... Just one of our most beloved fighters through a series of wars. True. And recently picked up yet another victory at UFC 287 over Chris Curtis, the action man. He's back, ladies and gentlemen, as aggressive as ever, as suave as ever. Wow. Please welcome UFC's Kelvin Gastelum. Oh, God, hey. are you? I thought for a second it was the action man. You gotta no. turn your fucking. You gotta turn your lights on, my brother. We need a little more well, light on you. Yeah, we I can know. hardly see you. This is as best as it is in this little hotel room, though, to be oh. honest. Oh well, okay. then okay. We'll see you next time, me. No shush. <laughs> you blew it. You blew it. We gave you a chance, and you blew it. No, it's good if um, you sit a little closer like that, though. Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm 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 in Mexico City. I'm in this little hotel room, and uh, no, I'm sorry, not no. I was in Mexico City. I just got to Cancun today. I'm on oh, vacation. Cancun. I'm on vacation. <laughs> well, thank like you. Axel <laughs> What's like Axel Foley. What's like Axel? Like Axel Foley, for huh? You're oh, on vacation. Yeah, I'm on vacation, buddy. <laughs> I like that. How much weight have you gained since the fight? That's the thing, man. I'm staying light. I'm staying light. Uh, uh, I'm staying under 200 pounds, which was which no. is a difference. Which is no, a no carnage, no carnage or El Pastor or whatever. I will have one or two, but I won't have ten. You know what I'm saying? What bojito? Uh, what? I mean, one or two of what exactly? Uh, you know, I'll have a pastor, carnitas. Oh. Yeah, come on, mm. you know this. Good so now, did you go by yourself to Mexico? Or are you in with some family? With some friends, with some friends. I'm just here with just friends. Yeah, yeah. No female. No, we're, we're, I mean we're, we're we're all meeting here. We're all meeting. Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> oh God, I, I know what you're up to out there now. Hey, hey, come on. Oh. You you're gonna sow your hoyo oats for her. Well, don't don't put me on blast like that. Well, Listen, we all know. To the <laughs> There's no the spoils. Secret. KG, you yeah. earned it. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking some much needed time off, and um, I'm out here in Mexico. I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, but like I said, I, I think I announced it, and they might have made it official already. Like uh, like I'm, I plan on fighting welterweight next. So okay. I'm also you know I train already a few times out here and trying to watch my weight, watch those calories for sure. Yeah, you know, like oh. I said, I'll have one or two. Uh, of those tacos, but not ten. Not yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I I know a taco that have a lot less calorie, and that's what you should be focused on. Hey. Yeah. I think uh, I think I've seen the place on Sunset Boulevard. Is it called Pink Taco? <laughs> yeah. And some sometimes sometimes that one can also be different other color, but inside all that one is always pink. Color. I've never been there, but I've, I've only <laughs> driven past it. Well, you <laughs> don't worry. Now that you won that last fight, you're gonna be getting a lot. You're gonna be getting it there a lot more, Carol. It might I, actually just get delivered to you. In fact, oh, that's another thing. Forget it. Post match, and also, you know what, huh? 
So, I know. You know what that is? That's your uncle Hanach. And don't even question your don't even question your sexuality because yeah, you hitting the bomba. What's going on over there? No, it's just last time I I saw you, I was I was experimenting with diets and calories and stuff, okay. and I think I went overboard. And people, I started to notice. I had to stop it because people was making comments. There was I thought I was looking good, and they were like they were like saying I look like a Dallas Buyers Club and shit like that. Whoa, whoa. And then so. I kept getting these kind of comments and I, I was like, you know what? Maybe they seen something I'm just not seeing. And then it's funny because I went and looked back at our old like clips from you yeah. last appearance. And I do, I look like a skeleton. Like I, I don't, yeah, I look a lot. I look like this, like, Opa, caralho. I look like I'm cutting wage. And now, now I'm look, I'm look a little more, uh, more, you why are you saying? You got a new tattoo too? No, I've always had this. Oh damn! That looks yeah. Uh, you just yeah. It's 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 not to be trifle with here. Shit. Yeah. Um. But no, but, but yeah. I mean, I'm a very sexy man, you know, and people can't you know dig my sexuality. Uh, you dig? Uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally. like 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 Karen Bryant. You know, she's intimidated by that one. I'm not. I'm not intimidated not by it at, at all. I just don't want you. That's true because it's like the you ever seen the haters of to the uh, lost ark? Yeah. So when they open the ark, they try not to see because you don't know what the fuck gonna happen. So you try, if she see this one, who her 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 vagina gonna melt like that Nazi guy? You know the Nazi guy, his face go like that. Yeah. If she look your uncle Hanach in the eyes, her vagina gonna go. Oh, why does it have to be snakes? Um, so, exactly. So listen, no. KG, the relax, why? Relax, Renato. Why, 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 why go back down, right? I mean, I did see on your Insta, you posted what, like Jimmy bars or something like that? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, go yeah, was, I'm going back, or I don't know what those are or whatever, but like you did say that. So what, what's the deal? Why, why? Because, you know, um, you're, you know, you're know, you successful at 85. It's not like you have to go back. Sure. Um, I think like it's time. I think it's time. I think, um, you know, I put this, this off a little bit too long. It should have been done, you know, probably years ago. Um, I, I've been thinking that. I, I swear to God, I, I've been talking about that with friends and everything. People that I know who are fans of you have been like, if that dude went down, he would fucking be a monster. Okay, Everybody so yeah. Tells Everybody tells me, and uh, I was like, yeah, yeah. And it's always been in the back of my head, but it's like, I'm, to be honest, I'm scared um, because of my history. And, and, and I feel like those thoughts and those feelings come up again. But, uh, but, but no, I, I'm also. Mm. Looking forward to it because I I know I have what it takes. I know that I'm gonna I'm gonna go all in on on, on being you know being disciplined with my weight and being you know just doing what I need to do to be able to do it safe to be able to do it right and and I want to I want to look like like Uncle Hinach right here. I wanna, oh God, are you? Listen, that's probably don't. impossible. Oh. But 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 to shoot for the stars and you maybe gonna hit <laughs> maybe you're gonna hit like oh God, are you? The, one level below, maybe one level something. Below. Maybe a couple level below that one, but still is is effective for her. But you know what? Mm, that's tough. But <laughs> hey, to have fantasies is important and have that's dreams. That's the thing. Never stop dreaming. <laughs> oh God, I do. Um, so so but, when oh, yeah, you say though, would, would okay? So yeah. So was it is it a maturity thing then, right? Because I do feel like. You know, um, lately when you when you came back for this fight and you're so reinvigorated, and I think that working with Triple C has been great and all this stuff and like oh, you Triple seem, C, <laughs> you seem like literally, you know, like reborn, you know. And so I, I love you to see more. it. And so, um, is there is that a whole sort of mind shift for you that you're like, okay, I'm 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 really starting over now, and yeah, I'm gonna take everything more seriously. And maybe before I was only halfway in, and now I'm all in. Pretty much, Karen. I mean, I, I'm, uh, yeah. I mean, it feels like I'm, I'm reborn. I'm reinvigorated and mm -hmm. remotivated, and, and, and <laughs> I really wait. Like, what? What's okay, go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. What's going on? No, I was just thinking. He might. You ever seen uh, Carlitos' way? Of yeah. course. You know, in the beginning, where he's in, he's he's in quiet or whatever. He's like, I'm he invigorated. I'm here yeah. motivated, yeah. you know, like it goes to the hope. Yeah. So, uh, it just reminded me. Sorry, sorry yeah. for him. <laughs> oh, God, I'm glad I, I brought that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead. It feels like a second, second life or second opportunity in in this UFC. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole, yeah, it's, it just feels like a whole second opportunity for me. Um, I also realize I am older, and so the window is getting shorter, and so like I, I don't have a lot of time to waste these days, and so mm. I, I want to make the most. I want to make the most out of the next phase of my career, and and I, and I want to do things better than I did before. And like I said, to be more disciplined than before and just more focused than I was before. I, I think it's dangerous. Like you, a person like you, you're so naturally talented, you know? And so um, even though you don't have the stereotypical athletic body, you are a natural athlete. And I think you have these gifts that can be a big curse too, because you see that you can have his off and fucking do whatever you want, you know? Right, right. But to be where you want to fucking be is, is, is that's going to take some more discipline than you ever did, you know? Oh, 100%. I, and yeah. I know that. And, and like I said, it, it scares me a little bit. Uh, but, I, you know, like that saying says or goes is like, if you're big, if your dreams don't scare you, then you're not dreaming big enough. Mm. Right. True. So. I will say, though, I, I love that idea, and I think there's a lot of great fights for you at 70, but I hate the fact that now that means we're robbed of seeing you fight Israel again. That means that Rob will fight Israel again? No, no that we're we robbed, robbed of that. We're robbed of seeing you and Izzy fight again. Oh, like, we don't get to see you fight but, Izzy if you drop weight. But, that's but he's hard about that, though, because Rob is going to fight. But yeah. you know what? Because um, you oh, no. was such you know, an epic I win the bell at 70s, and then maybe I'll go back up. You can be like a triple C. You can be the champ champ or whatever. That's right. That's right. Yeah. By the way, I got to say, all jokes aside, you was light on your feet in that last fight here. Hey. Yeah. I was proud of you, my brother. I, I really was. I was watching that shit. I was like, look at this fucking guy we here. We were texting each other, weren't we, yeah. that night? We did. We yeah. were like, okay, okay, That's Jay. funny. Yeah, I was. Because I, you don't know what you're going to get, you know. You hope it looked like that. But you don't know what it's gonna be. It could be like, ah, fuck, you know. But we was looking at that. I was like, oh, okay. And he's feeling himself in there. Like, okay, okay. Hey, a little no. Dazzle, dazzle. So it's, it was so. It was so. Anybody who was a fan of you, it was like, ah, oh, yes, okay, yes. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay, he's he's still in the mid. He's still here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. And, and yeah. You know, I, I went in there. I went in there the same. I was like, oh man, let's see if I still got it. I mean, I trained mm. my ass off. We did all the right things. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? It's been 20 months. Let's see if that ring rust is real. Yeah. So, like, I had a lot of questions about myself as well. Of you know, course. They all, they all got answered that night. Yeah. Still got well, it. Still got it. You still got it in a big, in a big motherfucking way. Oh, huge, um, man. Yeah. And you know what? I mean, I was yeah. thinking, you know, th- this is me coming off a 20 month layoff, coming off multiple surgeries in my mouth and my knee, uh, uh, other little injuries that were your you mouth. Know, this is not me at my best. You know, this was just me tapping into that. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. For I don't me. think we've seen you at your best, um, period. Uh-huh. You know, like, I, I, yeah. I don't think so either. I don't think I've showed 50% of what I can do. I mean, probably, I probably showed. 50%. I bet what I can do by now it's been 10 years yeah <laughs> I think yeah. he's showing at least 50 percent but I get that I love to hear that you think you still have untapped potential it remind me of myself because when you looked at me no but I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be straight with you when you looked at me this time you said are you doing bomba that's because I deserve some of how good I look some Chinese like that I, I do that through lightings and stuff like stuff what I wear I don't want to show all that one look at her it, it, she's not gonna you, know, you understand? <laughs> she, yeah. She's not going to pay attention to any of the fucking questions, anything like that. She's going to be... Exactly. Look at her inner monologue. She she want to undress me with her <laughs> eyes. Oh, oh, okay. It's true, I, though. Carayo, it's true. Uh, so, yeah. okay. So, in who, how quickly do you think you would take a fight at 170 and against whom? Like, do you have already, like, a list in mind of uh, guys you want to fight? No, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think my focus is just to keep getting my weight lower and lower. And, you know, walk around at a good weight that'll make it easy for me to. Because what I, was you, your problem before? Like when you was missing weight and shit, what was the issue? Too much food or was it alcohol? What was the problem? 
<laughs> I mean, no, I mean, dead serious. Being huh? disciplined and not knowing. With food. To, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Just not knowing how to diet. You know what I mean? I mean mm. Before I got in the UFC, I didn't know which, you know, which side of the bed to piss on. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had to learn. But, I had to learn. Are you the type of person, though? Okay, so let's say you know what the high thing to do is. Yeah. Do you get like crazy at night where like that ice cream be calling you and shit, like a like an addict, or is it that you just didn't know what to do? Yeah, I think that was kind of the problem. I would, I would, late night munchies is is the is the problem for sure. Yeah. What the fuck is with Those that? Those will kill. Those hey, kill, Kelvin. But here's the question. Here's the question. In the daytime, I don't crave anything crazy. I never crave any sweets. Nothing. Nothing weird. As soon as the sun go down in the late, late, late night, I turn into a fucking werewolf and I finish a pint of ice cream standing in front of the freezer. You see, why, why do you think that is? I had to learn why. There has to be a fucking, huh? I was the same. Do you know why that happens? I don't, but I bet you there has to well, be this, some it kind is, of wasn't emotional scientific. Eating? I mean, there's usually like emotional connections to... I'm sure there's something to do with that, but I think maybe there's something that lowers during the night. I don't know because it don't make any sense. I, if I had to diet and be the the Uncle Henach from the daytime, I would be incredible. But at night, everything go out the fucking window. Yeah. And you know what's the worst? When I have to get up in the middle of the night to check a piss, I can't be trusted because I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle into the kitchen. And God forbid if I made a pot of pasta earlier that night or something like that, I'm going to eat the whole thing yeah. just on my way back from the bathroom. Yeah, I, I can't I can't be trusted in, in the evening. It's crazy. I don't understand. Yeah. So well, what's I the reason then, Kelvin? You figured it out? I learned this because I wasn't eating enough during the day that I was uh, So that's that was a problem. I had a uh, I mean, it took took a long time, but yeah. Well, I'd probably do that too then. I, yeah, yeah, I probably Yeah, do. but it goes straight to your cheeks. We all, a lot of us yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, you're busy during the day, right? So you don't eat as much or you burn. Yeah, right, right, right. And then you're ravenous at night. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, I will, I will have to ask, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but I am curious in the times where, you know, you did hit a rough patch. Right. And so now it's great because we can all say KG's back, but you, you hit a rough patch and I'm curious how how did you handle that like did it get really bad i mean i know you know a lot of people suffer depression a lot of people go through a lot that we don't see or whatever especially fighters can be prone to that how how bad did it get uh <laughs> i don't know i don't know if it was bad but i mean I, it was, it was <laughs> for a second it looked like he was gonna cry he went oh, oh. i don't know for a second it was gonna be bad did you see that did you see what he just he went <laughs> I uh, uh, I don't know. For a second, it was gonna be. <laughs> no, um, I had to really think about it because, uh, yeah, it was bad, man. It was bad. I don't, I don't know how bad compared to other bads, but yeah, yeah. it was bad. You wanted to kill yourself, boy. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't know. But it's hard to get your, you know, it's hard to get your, um, your belief back. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to convince you, like, and you know, because you've been there enough times to know like you can you can crush in the in a gym and then the i don't know man i i every i i really me, don't understand like me. how you guys hype yourself up to get in there and make that walk again sometimes i really don't and i applaud you for doing it everything around me was telling me you know all the negative things you don't want to hear mm. i don't know you're not good enough. That's it. Mm -hmm. you're done. You're washed. Everything you don't want to hear. Yeah. I mean, that's what it, everything was telling me. You know, yeah. uh, for for like those twenty months, and it sucked. And so every mm. day, every day was a damn battle with myself. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Get the fuck up. Go train. Stop eating all the bullshit. Like go, go, go. Oh, oh, I I, oh. I was hanging on every word. Oh no, he froze up. That was a like I know I was like hanging on. Every it looked word like he there. was also gonna break down emotionally again. He went like this, like. Oh no, that was like the best thing. I was hanging on that. Oh no. Oh God, are you? Oh. On a special episode of Fish TV. Damn it! I was so right there hanging. 
Okay, but hey, what's going on with you, Karaya? Now, it looks like we alone. I think we alone now, Karaya. Come back, Gilman. Nah, it's just me and you now. So what's hot? What's going on? Dang. Well, I know he is in a hotel in Mexico. He said, right? So yeah, but you wish you was in a hotel in Mexico with your uncle Nadi. <laughs> you you wish we was in Chihuahua, Chihuahua. No. no yeah. No. So I can took you. I can took you out to a fancy restaurant. Uh huh. Uh huh. And to a donkey show. Oh God, no! <laughs> Have you ever actually gone to one of those? No, never, never. That don't do it for me. That don't. Right. No. It, it. The day that, no. Nah, this thing, no. other stuff. If I'm gonna do some depraved shit, you know, you gotta. Your uncle Hanach got a better chance of. No, not in Chihuahua though. I was about to say get a hooker no. or something, but please don't but, ever do. But that. not in Chihuahua. I won't cut out. Please don't ever do. Maybe that. Argentina. Yeah. Uh. Damn. Okay, wait, he's back. He's back. Hey. He's back. He's back. He's back. We were hanging on every word. Oh, we were God. like, yeah. Did you get too emotional? You had to stop for her? <laughs> yeah, I had to stop and cry real quick. You, you, Cause know, your mouth got frozen. You went. Mexico, Mexico, Wi-Fi. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Listen. <laughs> They're not known for their Wi-Fi, no, no, no. but no. But I, I love oh. the fact that you, like you were saying, you, you, you got out of bed and you just did the work. Yeah, that was yeah. Did, had to do the work. All the work is is internally, you know. And at the same time, I also got to do the physical work. And it was yeah. just, it was, it's a lot of work, and it was a lot of internal work. Um, I also, you know, I also talked to a sports psychologist. Oh, God, are you? Yeah, who's been helping me, and that was really helpful to kind of just move all the bullshit out of the way so that you can get along with your plan. Yeah, it's, it's ironic because Mexicans is known for their work. <laughs> so I'm shocked that anything. That's so you, not why? appropriate. I, I'm trying to put a feather in the cap uh, in that one. I put a macaroni in there. They're fighting spirit. Oh, like Modelo. They're known for drinking yeah, Modelo. But you know what? It's interesting with Chakash. the sports psychologist thing. I there, yeah. I, I, I think a lot of us uh, should do, you know, work on ourselves. And, and, I, and I have been trying to um, change some things about myself, too. And I was looking at this one guy, and I forget what his name is, but his whole thing was just, just don't say the negative stuff out loud. And it seemed so simple. And I, and I realized that... I do often say the bad stuff out loud. Oh, this you is do. probably gonna happen. And you this do. This is probably gonna be the thing you that do. happens, and this is probably gonna go wrong. And I tell her. I tell her that. Oh shit! You shoot! Shut! You do not. But so I sure do. literally by just eliminating that, by just not saying it out loud, like it it does feel better, and you do doesn't mean I'm not thinking it, but just by literally not giving it voice, I do feel actually a little better. I've always, I mean, I've always done that naturally. I don't ever want to say that thought. Ever. Yeah, know. but even when you think it, you have to nip that shit in the bud. You know, um, I learned something which is almost to treat um, that voice. You have to you have to attract that voice as if you are a lawyer advocating for yourself against that that other lawyer. You you go. That's not a uh -uh, no objection. Right. That's not right. a that's not a fact. If you say like I'm a piece of shit or I'm a loser, no, 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 no. Right. I will I will submit that you have did this, 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 this. To prove your that is the facts. You know what I'm saying? You have to fight against those voice with everything you got. Yeah, yeah. you do, you do. And at the same time, I had to do a lot of the you know the training and, and yeah. yeah, man, just just to get yeah, just to. Just to go train, you know, sucks and to get remotivated, especially doing two camps back to back. With right. Oh, oh, fuck! That, yeah. yeah, that's downer. That's a downer. Oh. Twice, twice it happened, and you know the the the, the fighting money stops coming in too, yep. and you're like, whoa, whoa. Oh, God, are you? you know? That's why you're vacationing in Mexico instead of the Monte Carlo. <laughs> hey. Um. Yeah, but. Mexico's it do get out. tight yeah um yeah have you ever thought have you ever thought of your uncle hanach being your sports psychologist oh my god no that's a, that, how much are you charging now yeah I, it's seasonal price god <laughs> like like when you get those langostino we never know how much but we're gonna give it to you at the end of the dinner oh my god oh, it, well i want to ask you about the actual training um 
Triple C, obviously. Well, I'm well. First and foremost, excited that that man is coming back. To me too. Me too. Uh, me like too. I, I'm like legit excited to see him come back. I am. He, you know, it's it's gonna be a real good time. And just again, like you know, whatever. He's he's a trip. He, he but, is a trip. Um, out of all the people in the world, what made you want to go there and train with him? And how how did you guys get on? Like, what was the bond like? Well, you know, Henry and I have always been pretty close, and yeah. Um, you know, one time he came over to Huntington Beach and we sat down and he started telling me about all the stuff that he's doing and fight ready and that I mm -hmm. should come out and, and, and check it out. And after my fight, no, before my fight with Cannoneer, um, mm. I went out there. I went out there for, for about two weeks and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, did everything that Henry did and kind of shadowed him a little bit. Went to Neuroforce, you know looked at the coaches, see how they worked. And mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Everybody was really cool. And yeah. I was like, man, I, if, if any change I need to make, if a, if a change that, I, or how do I say it? If, yeah. if, if there's a change that needs to be made, this is it, is what okay. I mean. Yeah. Okay. okay. And yeah. after my fight with Cannoneer, um, my lease was up in, in, in Huntington Beach, mm -hmm. oh, God I, started, I started looking around for rent, and I was like, "Whoa!" Okay. You so said, "Fuck that!" I'm gonna move into the Sahudo's couch for her. Bro, I'm leaving here soon too. I was starting to look. I was like, "You know what? I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to to do this." And so, so I made the move, man. I made yeah. the move. Like, Smart That's move for her. I, I I don't know for whatever reason. That just that thought came came and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna run with it. And I had to talk yeah. with Cordero and I had to talk with every Oh Rafael. Yeah. Master Master. Yeah. Yeah. You know uh, another thing though that um So everything was cool yeah. though, right? So it's not like yeah, yeah, it's not like because you know sometimes when people leave, people assume like it, you guys went down in flames or something terrible happened or whatever. You know, not by any means. No, no, no. Cool. No. I'm still on the group chat at the King's Good. MMA. Group. I can tell. Good. I can tell because you know I love him, and so it's yeah. like I would hate to hear that it, you no. guys didn't get on. So yeah, no. I can tell because I I saw the the my post about that this show is happening, uh -huh. and Rafael was live that one. Nice. Nice. So he wouldn't have did that. There's no way. Because yeah, um, of course, yeah, that's where we. If he don't like you, he don't like you, Pohan. Right. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, and, and you know the cool thing about about you, and I think it's what you guys can bond, um, you and Henry Sahudo, is because you're both Mexican, and but you both look like NBA Jam characters. <laughs> NBA. Yeah. What? NBA Jam. You remember that video game? Yeah. It's like the head is like this, <laughs> and the body is a little body like that. And go, he's on fire, Karagi. Like he's pops. on fire, huh? Like the Funko Pops. Yeah, yes. did you ever used to did you ever used to play NBA Jam, Kara? Yeah, I mean what a game. I, might have, I, might have. I would love to see you guys in there in a secret yeah. characters in there. Okay. Man, I'm excited for his fight, man. Wow. Me too. Uh, he's a, he's something. Man. So yeah, what do you what do you think of that? Because um, he could come right back and just recapture everything. Like he, he, oh, it's yeah. kind of crazy that he stopped to begin with. Like, I don't really know why he did that. It's kind of crazy. How, what, why he stopped anyway, why Henry oh, yeah. like retired in the first place. I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Well, he's told me this is, is, is just like, once you achieve everything that there is to achieve, like what else is there? I guess, yeah. You're preaching to the choir. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. motivation a to get out of bed. Two-way divisions. Right. I Yeah, I think he needed that break. I think he needed that break. He wanted to build a family. He got married, yeah. has kids. Okay, you know? Yeah. I can't co-sign that one. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I remember be I being out here in Cancun with him, with him yeah. when he was uh, single. Oh, and he was just he was just talking about like oh, man I want to you know he really wanted to build a family Aww. yeah yeah so he went and did it which is cool he wanted to find a way to exalt to to uh, exhaust his bank account so he could have a he's into it he have to fight again <laughs> yeah that's no, what happened you know, Henry's been making good money outside of fighting bit yeah on what for him 
I don't know. I mean, he's Lucha not, Libre or some shit like that. I know he's doing really good in the YouTube. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I think his podcast or YouTube probably does well. Yeah, yeah. He's doing really I want a piece of the action for him. <laughs> he's got like a million sponsors and stuff like that. I mean, like yeah. the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. like he's uh, he's doing all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Hanato, listen, he's on vacation, so I don't want to keep... Calvary. So what? This is the most biggest fun uh, is the whole fucking China. This is I like parasailing. I want you to get to anything you need to get to because I'm not trying to keep the man on the computer while he's on vacation in Mexico. Listen, he'll be the judge of that. He would be going like this. Well, wow, so, um, hey, it's no, been he's great too to polite. See. He's no, too you polite. know what? Actually, yeah, I do got to go, guys, because uh, actually... I told them I'd catch up at the restaurant. They left me an hour. Oh, ago. the restaurant. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fair enough, Poha. Um, but I'm not done with you. So next time you come, <laughs> I, after the next win, or maybe before the next uh, fight, yeah. you're going to, uh oh, is he frozen? Or he's just Haley paying oh, attention? Oh, he might have frozen again anyway. I can always tell because it looked like they're looking too fucking enchanted or whatever. <laughs> And I'm like, what I'm saying is not that fucking deep for yeah. you to have. Look at how he's looking at me right now. It's, it's really intense. Hey, 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 um, fucking Kelvin Gas. Go fuck I'll yourself. You what, let's do Wait, it. Kelvin Gas, I'll kick your fucking ass for her. Gonna... You understand? Wait, you looking at me like that in your eyes? Wait, let's both make intense faces so that I can use it for the thumbnail later. Hold on. Ready? Wait, yeah, get close. Oh, hold on. Let me look at him. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, how am I looking? Wait, wait, wait. wait no, that way he's looking at him, but now you're not in screen. Wait, move back. Like lean to your, lean to your, oh, oh fuck. damn it. My apple, huh? Oh, well. <sighs> Thank you, Kelvin. It was good to see him on there. It was good to see him. It was I, good to I, see I, him. But literally, you know, that's the thing is I got to remember there are times when I'm like, hey, I just want to keep talking to people, but then I'm like, oh, wait, they have a life too. Like, they have never mind their life. If, if they it's on listen, vacation. Th can I tell you something? This is part of life here. This is life here. It is. It is. But he's on vacation because literally last, I, I, I wanted him on last week and he was like, oh, I can't. I'm flying to Mexico, but how about next week? So um, I actually, excuse me, I thought he was going to be like back. I didn't know he would still be in Mexico because he's the one who said, so anyway, thank you, Kelvin. You are awesome. We appreciate you. We always do. And yeah, I'm excited Listen, to see never you. he mind them. Never he mind them that it's time to go. Let them, you never know what no. kind of gold could be coming. I remember, um, um, uh, you ever listen to that show, Mark Marin, what, uh, WTF? Okay. Yeah. I love it. So he had on, um, um, this is an example of that. He had on fucking, um, your boy, uh, uh, God, are you? Of My course, boy. I'm. Okay, who is this? Um, James Khan. Okay. Oh, Jimmy Khan. Jimmy Khan. Okay, and of course you 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 went to uh, uh, Mount Airy Lodge with him. You went to the Poconos with him and did a whatever the fuck. I don't, you, I'm sure you have a million I stars. I didn't. I'm just a big fan. Yeah, me too. So he had him on there, and then towards the end, towards <laughs> later on in the interview. Jimmy Khan starts telling all these inside baseball, all these fucking like Hollywood secrets and fun fucking shit. Right. And then out of nowhere, uh, uh, what's his name? Mark Marin goes like, oh, okay, well, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, girl, we've had you here. We're keeping you here. And in the middle of this guy, like, you're finally getting to the nitty gritty, you know? And then, and it looked like he was kind of startled. Like, what? I have, I didn't. No, oh, okay, it's already over. And then come to find out, not shortly after that, the fucking guy dies. So, you know, so it's like, hey, you whatever he was going to charge you, you're never going to fucking get that again now. So, you know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. I remember going like, shut the fuck up. He's talking. Like, let us, we are the listeners. We want to hear what they have to say. Like, I get that. Don't I, I, maybe that's because his show, he has a time, like it's like an hour or something like that. Look, at, I just literally think of that because he's on vacation. And I was like, he's on vacation. I know, but uh, I mean, you know, he's a big boy. These people, if they got to go, they got, they'll, they'll tell you. Um, uh, no well, need that's the host in me. You got to remember though, Hinato, like that's the, that's the professional show host in me. Like, well, this is very unprofessional operation. Like moving the show along too. Listen, once that we get, once they say yes to this shit. <laughs> you keep me here forever. Is they fault. <laughs> Hey, we have got a donation and a question from Life. Oh, and God, are you the five dollar? 
asking, thank you for the donation. Who is thank your you. favorite UFC fighter, both Karen and Hanato? That's a hard question. Currently, Current, currently, yeah, I, or, I would say Izzy is, is for me currently is the person that yeah, you get the most excited. He would be number one of, oh, I can't miss if he's fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he would be number one right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, Chimey? Oof. There's been periods, you know, it, there was a time when it was Chuck Liddell. Uh -huh, was nice. like, I am not missing a Chuck Liddell. And then it, I think it went to Spider Silva. I was yeah. just gonna say you got if you love Izzy, you had to love Anderson. I think it, I have to break it up into eras, you know. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I mean, even though I, I have mixed feelings about this guy, but Jean Jones is like, <sighs> I used to love him to death, and all the extracurricular, I, I can't, I gotta admit, it bothers me, but I still can't miss him fighting. I still can't miss a Jean Jean fight, you know. So it, it, there's a few people. There's a few people you just, I, I'm so curious. I just can't miss that one, you know. Agreed. So I think about, like, who do I get excited to see fight? I agree. I get very uh, current, and same oh. thing. I break it down in errors type thing or whatever. Currently, yeah, like, I really enjoy watching Izzy fight. Like, I, I just, yeah. I think he's awesome, and I, I'm just a, a big, big fan of him. Um, but I also... Um, I, uh, uh, yeah, I was always a big Jose Aldo fan, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I, he, so he was one of my all time favorites. Um, I remember like I would always just get really, um, yeah, I liked Anderson Silva a lot too. Um, but it's <laughs> tricky because yeah, some people it's like, there's a lot of people that you just like, uh, get excited for them and you're happy for them. I don't know. It's hard to, cause I guess like I'm, I'm told to be objective. So like sometimes I guess maybe uh -huh. I try not to get, a, 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 a attached. The yeah. But you one, know, though, that was one of my all time favorites. So it was like old school Shogun, like prime, Shogun. like, you know what I mean? Old pride, school Shogun pride Shogun though. Pride amazing. Shogun. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah that's like, that's legend. Like, you know who my like, early UFC, the first UFC, hmm. Keith Hackney, oh God, I, that was my guy. Okay. He had a white guy with a mullage and he had the tiger claws and he had like a sweat pants and a fucking, um, uh, a wife beater or whatever the hmm. fuck he's wearing. Oh God, I, those yes. days. Yes. Mm. Well, that's right, Marshall Mixed Artist. Like when Anderson was going off to Ronaldo, like at the same time, concurrently, yeah. those two were freaking slaying yeah but like, nothing I always like loved aldo like aldo was the one like if you asked me hey kb if you wanted to be a fighter you know and what would your fight style be like i would want to fight like jose aldo your fight style oh here we go oh god oh yeah you would be scratching people's eyes out or whatever and stuff like that dude no but you know what do you want to know the no. truth i no. would murder bitches at the press conferences oh okay, i yeah. would murder them like what I, would you come I, out to though song I would, oh, oh, okay so there's a couple of songs for my ring walk would either be smack my bitch up by Prada oh okay or um or um rock star by n-e-r-d you can't be me i'm a rock star I want it down the song. I'm hanging out the window of a car. How the fuck do I not know what the fuck that is? I don't even know what that is. It's Pharrell Williams' group, Rockstar, anyway. Oh, you mean nerd. From N E R D nerd, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. No one ever really dies. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. So Rockstar. Yeah, yeah, okay. So there's three choices. So there's Prodigy, Smack My Bitch Up, Rockstar by N E R D, or Bad Girls by Mia. Um, live fast, die young, bad girls, do it well. Actually, Julia Avila walks out to it. My chain, it's my chest when I'm banging on the dashboard. You know, she's Oh, great. you mean MIA or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or the um, same one who does, you know, she does, she's the same one, you know, who does, uh, what do Paper you planes. It? Paper planes, exactly. Yeah. So those um, are my three choices. Why, what would your ring walk be? Well, my ring walk was always a combination of, um, it was either, uh, oh, don't sweat the technique. Oh, nice. And That's or That's the good. the or know the ledge also same group uh you know Eric Eric B and Hakim um That's know the ledge right. the, the oh, juice don't one don't push me no not that not that that that's, oh, that's um yeah that's 
that's fucking um, um, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Grandmaster Five. Flash, right. But this was um, the one from the movie Juice, where it's like, uh, sip the juice. I got enough to go around. Uh, you, you, you know, you know the song. It's it's the it's the one from the movie Juice. Okay, I remember the other one better though. The other song yeah. you said. But you know, don't sweat the technique. And since laranja <laughs> mean orange, you know that ju it have a juice <laughs> connotation, you know. So right. Yeah. No, I love I, it. I, don't sweat the technique. It's good. It's, got the, it's very jazzy. I oh, like that a lot. and here's the most underused one that I can't believe. It seems like it's Wait, Chayla did you May. know this? Wait, did you know this? Neiman Green. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. There's oh, a couple okay. of people who walk out. He does, and I love it. And there's also a professional <laughs> Wait, boxer that comes to that. Technique. Yeah. Huh. I don't get. Okay. I don't get it. Um. But but um. What was I saying? I don't understand why more fighters don't come out. I've only seen one fighter do it. Shook ones by Mob Deep. And actually today is the, the fucking, I, I forgot to do a post. I meant oh, to. Oh, you were going to post it's it? It's the 28th anniversary of that album. Uh, of, of, you know, Mob Deep, Shook ones? Uh-huh. Uh, that, that one, I, I can't believe that that's not just a cliche one. I've only seen Hashad, uh, Hashad. Is the only person I ever seen walk out to that, and it seemed like it's like, it seemed like it would be as cliche as like I'm gonna not. Mama said knock you out right. or something, huh. and then no one puts it because like it's about one? shook ones. Oh okay. By by mob deep. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Well, AA says my fighting style would be nine one one, so I guess I'm calling. Not because you're calling. You're like ah help. I mean travel. Ah. Oh oh no. Then then maybe I don't know. I'm, almost says I'm a ninja. Yeah. No, you you're more like um, you put like voodoo spell. I think it would be more good in the <laughs> WWE because you're gonna come out and put like fucking Haitian voodoo on people and oh shit like that. Oh my god! You're hey, gonna listen, put hoots on way, somebody. People oh. are commenting. There's been several comments about the fact that we're like very matchy matchy tonight with the same shirt. I don't um, understand. It's a different fucking color. I know, but somebody said, but and mine is a fucking us, we have um, one shirt on. A couple people said they walked out to the final countdown. Oh, this is a good song. though. by the time I get to Arizona, that's actually an amazing. Yeah, song. but it would have to be. But it's not a great in, well, if it's if, in Arizona. If, or something if you're at like Glendale, if you're fighting at the Gila River. But there's a lot of fucking oh, crowd. Mm -hmm. I I could think about twenty fucking um, uh, uh, public enemy joints that I oh, would come please. to. I'm such a big before that. Enemy fan. In yeah, fact, then. even that one. Um, uh, that Terminator X, uh, the, oh. like the first song on 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 oh, um, oh, on where, um, yeah, where it's it just takes like, a nation of millions, take, yeah, where it yeah, has yeah, that yeah, yeah, Flash yeah. Gordon shit. Yes, goes, yes, doom, yeah, doom, exactly. Doom, yeah, doom, doom, doom. Terminator X. X. <laughs> have you? Have I told, I've seen Public Enemy in concert. Have you ever seen them? Fuck, I know, oh, but I I gotta awesome. tell you. Well, I can only fucking awesome. in my imagine. And the S1Ws and all the you know, I love Public Enemy so much. Like, the security so of the first world, bro. Huh? And and you got to see all those people. Uh, do you remember? Because they used to be with Def Jam, so they would do a lot of uh, um, fucking concert with the Beastie Boys and LL Cool J. Dude, totally. Well, hey, you want to know? Here's something. Here's something. Here's something. How about this? On Insta the other day, I shared this, and I'll show you. So apparently, huh. it was Iggy Pop's birthday. So I shared this picture of me and Iggy Pop, but I'm in a Public Enemy T-shirt. Ooh! So it's like me and Iggy Pop with me in a Public Enemy T-shirt. So it's like layers on layers on layers of cool. Iggy Pop would like Public Enemy of too. Of course. Yeah. Uh, those I early Public Iggy Enemy Pop days. Too, by the way, oh, Public Enemy. Oh. I Iggy Turn Pop is great. On the S, the S, one W, real. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, there's so Professor bad. Griff, poor. Oh, well, and um, then that's why I love, you know, I love Prophets of Rage with my boy Be Real and and Chuck. So, mm -hmm. by the way, and uh huh. No, I was. Just and the say song that. Prophets of Rage. That, exactly. That's also well, a book. Yeah, well, by the way, for folks who don't know, if you, uh, I, I was on. Uh, be real show uh, on his podcast the other day, but that was one of the things that was so cool was talking to be real and be real was like talking about how impressed, how like psyched he was to be on stage with Chuck, like Chuck's legend, you know what I Look, mean? Like, Chuck, uh, D yeah, was, like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a he's he's very much a uh, he is a fucking legend. He's yeah. this, he's kind of a one of a kind, and also he have all the bases covered because he's a great MC, but he also have a, and all the shit he said was meaningful. 
but yep. he also have one of the all-time greatest voice of all time, totally. you know, which you totally. can't, I mean, uh, listen to the cook. Speaking of the voice, the voice of that <laughs> the fucking cuckoo, cuckoo bird going off. Here comes yeah. the song. Sorry. I have Chuck to say. Chuck would rap over this. You know what? Chuck would, Chuck would kill hey, over listen, this. Hey, no, listen. No, Flavor Flav would kill over that. No, I'm only kidding. But listen, um, I have to say, after you was on the Be Heal, you must have said something nice about your Uncle Hanach because Be Heal started following your Uncle Hanach. Oh, did he? Yeah. Um, well, and I told I told Psycho Less about you because I know. Okay, so Psycho Less. So I didn't know he was on the show with you. I was chilling with Psycho Less. So like, you didn't tell you you didn't tell me that. Oh, he was now, sitting across from me. Yeah. I had no idea, but I am one of the all time biggest Beat Nuts fan, um, yep. and I have been his partner, Junkyard Juju. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have been following each other for years, so I've been back and forth with him for oh, years. And okay. that was always a big deal for me because in high school, that was one of my favorite bands. Um, and all my, you know, after ever all the years since. But I never knew Psycho Less, and he never was following me, whatever. And then now I see him on my posts and stuff laughing his ass yes. and shit. So that's great, too, because it's, for me, that's bigger than, I don't know, think of the biggest celebrity now. To me, that means more, you know, because... Because you're a fan but, of him. Exactly. I mean, but also from a certain era where it meant so much when those bands that you cared about in high school, they mean more than something that just came out now or that you, you know what I mean? Or the, you know. Dude, and I don't know if he still is and I kind of don't want to check in case he's not. Mm. But I one day was going through my Twitter and... Mm -hmm. It said Joe Perry was following me. I got a notification and I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. Those oh, are very big fun. When it's a big one like that, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. I screen grabbed. I, like, and like I said, I don't want to look in case, he, in case he's not anymore. Because that's happened to me, too. When someone that that you hurt. thought and then they, un and you're like, yeah, the yeah, fuck you, would, too. That would, that yeah. That would hurt and then much. you start throwing away the albums. You're like, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. But. I'm from Boston. Yeah. Aerosmith is canon. It's like it's, you know. I it's, never knew that they was from Boston. I never in knew that. My blood. Well, they're actually well. I don't know if Joe is. No. They actually sort of formed in Sunapee, New Hampshire. Um, I, oh, no, I'm still like, okay, close so enough. Like, yeah, close so, enough. But when you grow up in New England, like Aerosmith is. I didn't was, even know that. It was like drinking the water. Like you drank water. Ah. You, had, you you and you liked Aerosmith. Like. You See, guess. I knew they was great. I knew the classic hawk and everything. I never knew that aspect of that. Oh, no. Like, it's, it's, radio stations are built upon their catalog. Like, they don't, yeah. like, I, I can go deep, deep, deep on Aerosmith albums and, like, I love them. So, oh, no, I, I'm, I'm not, like, a super fan, but I like them a lot. I like, there's certain songs of theirs that I really, really, really like, you know? Yeah. And my brother and is a guitar player. So I grew up listening to my brother play electric guitar. So that's why also why wow. that's probably maybe why I like them even more is because I appreciate the guitar playing in it and stuff. And that's why I like I love Van Halen and, and a, oh, lot of, yeah. a lot of stuff. Well, I have to be honest. So um, yeah. I have to be honest. Uh, um, um, I me? they came on my radar way back when mm -hmm. because of the Hun DMC. Oh, OK. So I only got hit to them from Walk This Way. Okay, that's okay. You know, so let's say that was what, 85? I don't know, something, 86? So, so, so I then had to go back and go, oh, these guys had shit before that? You know, because that, that has erected their career, you know? They, were, right. they was dead in the water when that happened. And so I remember, Yeah. I go way back, I remember when they literally were called the Toxic Twins, when Steve... Uh, exactly, and, and that's twins. why they was dead in the so, water, right, yeah. So I remember being literally at like the Westford House of Pizza in, in where I grew up and like or at like Little Peach, the like, mm. you know, the little gross the little neighborhood store at Little Peach and running into somebody at Little Peach and they That's and, what I call your vagina by the way, that my nickname oh for them. Oh my god. Anyway, next question. I mean, I keep going. So somebody would have an Aerosmith shirt on, you'd run into them at Little Peach and you'd be like, oh my God, like you had the Aerosmith show and they're like, yeah, I was. 
but it sucked because they only did like five songs. <laughs> oh, because like, they was fucking wasted. They passed out, right? Yeah. Uh, so it, it, like that's like I've been down. Like I've been. I like them. That they're they're part of who I am. Like growing up. So yeah, when I saw mm. him following me, I was so excited. Shit like that is is priceless. Like you, you it, so it's exciting. shocking. You go, oh shit, God, I. Yeah. yeah. I have a number of hip hop of my favorite hip hop people from the the old days that follow me and I I still have to pinch myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's no, crazy. it's amazing. And it's amazing. And yes, Life and Logic. I met a lot of big names. Hanato oh. hates when I drop them here, but whatever. No, it's okay, God. <laughs> um Okay, D D now has the beat nuts on his brain, so he's gonna have to go listen to Watch Out Now. Well listen to listen to the, the second album, uh Hell ha uh, not Hell has a uh, uh, street level. Oh yeah okay okay hey Good. Hanato we got to get to some stuff I'm curious what oh, you uh, uh if you um have an opinion or whatever no, probably not I was out uh and so I watched this later and didn't see all the fights but I did see this one and I watched these after the fact but Pavlovich dude mm. this guy he's starting to become a problem like you know you know so heavyweights I, there's a lot of name brands that yeah. we kind of heard this dude uh -huh. is on a six six knockout win streak like yeah it's pretty nasty i mean you know i have to admit i didn't i i missed this whole fucking car oh, okay. so i'm only i was only seeing it like you like i was seeing shit on instagram and stuff like that so okay well here's the thing on this so i uh i i watched it so curtis actually landed some good stuff himself too yeah. But Sergey, it's funny, right? Like, it's not like he's super fast or anything or whatever. But apparently, those ha must Oof. be three thousand pounds. Bombs, fists. bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and a person like that is always in the fight, even if they're getting the dog shit kicked out of them, which he wasn't. But he could be getting killed, and then boom. You know what I mean? So that's always. You know, there's always a place for a guy like that, you know, because he could be getting, he could be losing on all the scorecard and then the fifth hound fucking knock you, you fucking lights out, you know. Exactly. And that's just the whole thing too with the, with the Russian, he, he's, he's so like from, you know, central casting, like get me a big Russian heavyweight, dude. That You know what I mean? And then like you bring in Sergei Pavlovich, you're like, here he is. And you're like, perfect. Yeah. And then he just yeah. does what he's supposed to do. And like, and he has yeah, personality, like, even though his English sucks worse than, uh, you know, I don't know what, but he, he, right. he was through his translator was telling a funny story about how they caught him before his fight. Instead of being in the dressing home, he was out in the casino oh, uh, uh, playing slots and shit. And there was video of it. And he oh, was talking no. about oh, how, okay, I did read you know, because I guess you get bored, you get antsy in there. You're like, let me just get the fuck out of here and just do some stuff. <laughs> right. And so he was play he's playing the fucking slots. And they said that his, um, uh, whoever it was, gave him $100 to just play. And then he said he was way up. And then he could have just walked away. And then he was yeah. like, well, I guess I can make more money. And then he was like, then I just like lost everything or whatever. <gasps> and people were like, welcome to fucking Vegas, you know, welcome but to Vegas, bro. But it wasn't something that he does. And, and, and you could tell, even though he was, it was translating in, in, in Hashin, you could see his personality. He was laughing through his words and you oh, could see good. he had, he have a sense of humor, you know, he's a heel person, you know, like that. Yes. Uh, too bad he can't express that in English, but whatever, you know. That's Not like cool. Yonko Hanach, you know, who is profish. In, in so, several languages. Yeah, so many languages. Well, Beetle, Beetle Jesse said he knew it was over when he spotted the bald spot. Did you, on Curtis, I feel bad because. That's fucked up. Uh -huh. It is messed up. And I will say this too. And I don't know if it's because of that, but like. Some people get them because of because of wrestling and like and it was a we in the spot I I don't know where it was but that's rude bro. Listen, how many people have a ball spot? Uh, 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 how many great Americans have a ball spot? Uh, Sherman Hemsley, uh, 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 Hella Brown Jame. Uh, uh, who else? There's a does LeBron have a ball spot or is it just in his oh, yes. line? He got the whole shebang. <laughs> that mother he oh oh. How about Brown? I don't Boys even. Sons? I don't even know what you call what Kevin Durant have. <laughs> that shit looked like he scorched earth. Someone I said it looked like an ant Stephen hill. A for his huh? too, don't they? Well, his because he does that thing where it's like, look, you're not fooling anybody by lining yourself up here. You know what I mean? 
when you when you lined it up like about like at this point, you it's like come on. So you should just don't worry about the keeping it tight. You just take whatever form. I don't it know. It's just, on, on it just looks like the lineup. I thought is like he's trying to keep it tidy, though. But it looks like you're insulting our intelligence, like as if we don't realize that you like half your hair is gone. I don't know. I get it. Here's the know. thing. Just for the record, I am I am pro going bald. Like I it, just it, just I shave get, it off. No, 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 not for my. I mean, oh. listen, I love my hair, and I hope I I I no, no, out not you. I did lose Men. my hair when I was getting my divorce. I I I lost hair. Like there was a certain amount of stress, and I actually lost. I'll yank hair. your was, hair out, God. I was worried. I like when people pull my hair. I I'll pull you fucking like, oh, I like shit. It a lot. Like I actually really like it. A lot. I bet you do. Um, yeah, because but, you um, talk so fucking much. You need somebody to go shut the mess up. But with for men, just this is me, and I can't speak for every woman. I like a bald man. I would rather you be bald than you be combing it over or trying some of these shenanigans to, or to have to, like, some ruse with your. Or to have like bald. um. And granted, some men look better than others, but I bald is not a deal breaker for me at. All in terms of like, if I'm attracted to a person, Patrick Stewart Picard is one of the finest. I have such a crush on Picard. Never so mind, Patrick Stewart. Uh, like, look so at what. Me, look at saying, this. Bald is not a deal breaker for me. But what about if the guy have hair like like imported lamb's wool, like baby lamb's wool? God, oh, you. Jesus, here we go. I have like alpaca. Look, my hair. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'll listen, I get it, the underband, that going bald is rough. I know for men yeah. and for women, like hair is obviously a huge part of our identity. And for both sexes, it's it's tough. It to depends on your head, though. It depends on your head because, perfect example, you know how LL Cool J was always wear a hatch? Mm -hmm. It's because he was going bald and he doesn't right. have a good head. Right. Well, Some people... No, because it goes like to a point. Make you pull more hair out. But it goes to a point. Like, like oh, there's yeah. certain bald head that don't look good, or as people yeah. have a peanut head, like where it go back. It's like Chris Mullen, like it yeah. go out in the <laughs> back, like a, like enemy mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody have like a, <laughs> a Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Like no, for sure. The right shape of head, life logic uh, matters. Life, life logic taking the right shape. Of okay, head matters, but also not, no, just a tattooing. VT said they're gonna tattoo. <sighs> Uh, their hair, their they hair have that. Like, no, like, they like have Chito that. Like Vera, and he looks so cool. No, but they have that that the Chachu hair shit. Oh, I know. I think they mean maybe just put. No, like, but I've design. even seen they, that's a thing that's happening too, where like people is like oh, yes, chatuing, like it looks like hair uh, under there, so it's like give the illusion. But here's the funniest shit I ever seen. It was something on. <laughs> I posted it before. It was something on Instagram, and it was like at a punk show. And it was this guy that looked like he probably was a punk hawker in the 80s or something. Yeah. But he's, you know, getting fucking old. And he had, like, basically a horseshoe haircut. You know, like, yeah. old dad shit. <laughs> but this is the best thing i ever seen. He had a tattoo, okay? High on the bob thing oh, that dang. just said hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, I, I don't think I've ever laughed so hard at it, just the image before. And I was like, I gotta buy this guy a drink. Where can I find this fucking guy? It just said hair. Can you imagine how, how fucking the balls? That is a slow <laughs> dude. I, 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 I was in shock. Dude, that tattoo artist must have cracked up. Dying. And it was a cool tattoo, too, because it wasn't just... It was like the lettering was kind of like almost like a head color, and it was outlined in black. Oh, my God. It just God, said hair. Good. Yeah, it oh, was that's nice. That's good. That's good. Okay, hey, Hair. hey, wait. Oh, my, my, my ear, my headphones. Okay, hey, what? Just one last thing I want to show you. I know both of us, like we said, really didn't see a lot of these fights, but bruh, just look at these highlights. You need to go back and watch because it's only one round anyway. Freaking, um, uh, freaking, uh, 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 uh Silva and Tavares, Bruno Blindado. He mm. is your countryman. He threw down. He's also a really great dancer. Oh, God. I... Dado, they went back and forth, these two. Like, I'm a big imagine. Tavares fan, too, and he's got Ray Cepho as his oh, coach. And, like... Chavar, Chavar always, hey, look, win, lose, or draw. That kid always fucking, 
He's got that 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 fucking um, spirit of that oh, that he's Maori. Oh, the Hawaiian child. fighting spirit. He's got a lot going yeah. for him. Let's just say he has a lot going. For him. No, and he's a good-looking guy. I'm not gonna check that away from him. He's, he's a good-looking good guy. guy. And Blindado, though, not bad at looking at all either. But these two wailed on each other. Now, Chavar is who is who uh, Vinny Magalesh thinks he'd look like. He's trying to look like him, but instead yeah. he's missed the mark. Oh. So Blindado won. So that's the thing. So he nailed him. He just he got him with like a bup, like a pow. Like sad as a sta- it, that fight was very, very, very exciting. Right, and he was, got him with a poo and a pew pow. Was straight right, and he it was, <laughs> whatever. Look at you didn't see it, so I don't want to say. But you, he got it. him with a hi ya and a coo poo and a pete ya and a chong chongo pongo. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> what about he got him with a fa ya? <laughs> He got it with a pow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, no, you know your stuff. So you anyway, know your stuff. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, anyway, it was it was badass. So it, it was very, very, very entertaining. No, my only point uh, on this fight is that it's so interesting, right? Like before you you you, you joined us, uh, I was t- talking at the beginning of the show that like I basically I'm on like my uh, 11 year anniversary work working with the UFC. I joined them in like 2012 in April. 2012 and stuff and so i you know i've seen a lot i've done a lot and it's interesting you know it comes and goes in waves and then you see people and you've been there the course of their whole career and some people come and see people go and they retire my point is just this i know brad tavares has been around for a long time and so i'm not trying to say that like oh he's the the next generation of middleweights but like when you see a fight as exciting as that one was between Brad Tavares and Bruno Blindado, Bruno Silva, you know, guys that, you know, like I said, Brad's been around for a while, but like Bruno Silva's name is not that big yet, right? But Izzy's at the top of the division. You see these things, but like there's some actually really good talent coming up in middleweight. I know you people Always, talk about yeah. Roman DeLeeds in, you know, he didn't win his or whatever, but like da da da, last one or whatever, but like just pay attention to some of these names. So Bl- Bruno Silva is maybe a guy just. Maybe start to put a little, you know, put a little bug in your ear that like, ah, you know, maybe I should pay a little bit of attention to this guy too. Because he has a little bit of personality outside. Like I said, he likes to dance and this and that. Um, this was not a fight between, you know, title contenders or anything never like that. Never mind him. Saying, never. I, you can't look. Don't guys. be looking at him. Don't be pay looking attention. at, keep your eyes to yourself when he's walking around. Okay. I'm saying pay attention to some of these guys because you no, never I pay know. Attention. I'll pay a year time. from now, this is, these could be the kids, uh, or not kids, but you know what I'm saying. These could be the guys in title contention a year from now. You never know. For you, the kids, but for me, they're my oh, contemporary. I'm the what same. I'm young than these guys, even. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Look well, at me. Yeah, I look young. I look like a teenager. UFC's on fire in general. Yes, generally, generally, generally. Um, uh, Benny Mangalesh is on fire. He's because it burns. He needs to see a doctor about that. Uh, Pokemon voicing, wow. uh, Pokemon Vice saying, I love this podcast. Good job, Karen and Hanato. You're right, uh, Pokemon. Yeah, you gotta catch them all. The episodes, right. you gotta catch them all. Hey, that's the whole thing. This is episode 80. People definitely need to go back and check out a bunch of them. And for again, I don't always say it, but these are also on audio downloads, right? Amazon, Spotify, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. So you can download them as well. A podcast is finally as old as as your aunt Karen for her. Well, uh, well, no, but like Kelvin is one of our. He's a he turn. He's a repeat offender. A repeat offender, exactly. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. He was on episode twenty nine. We had Angie on. With oh, you, wait, wait, wait! I gotta tell you something. What? I almost did this to you, but I spared you. Uh oh. I was almost gonna do something did passive I make a aggressive. What did I do? No, you didn't do nothing. Um, but it, I was gonna do something passive or grass in advertising his second appearance on this. Uh-huh. I was gonna put, <laughs> I was gonna, you know, I always put music. I was gonna put a Steely Dan. I was gonna go, you go back, Jack, oh, do it again. <laughs> so I was gonna put that just to just to get under your uh, your toenails or whatever. But then you knew that everybody under the age of seventy wouldn't tune in. Now I knew that people would give you a hard time and all of the Steely Dan Jack, folks all of the Steely Dan folks would be would fuck you up. And, you and can I tell you something true? Jack. Steely Dan is a half reference. Do you know what it is a half reference true? I do. Actually I do. 
it's a fucking sexual uh, instrument from from the movie Barbara Hala. Oh, okay. Then I'm thinking of something. I did not know that. Then no. Well, you don't know nothing. I've seen Barbarella. Do you know? I love Duran that movie. Duran? I'm looking for Duran Duran. That's another thing. It's in that yes. true. Yeah. Right. That's fucking love that. For folks who don't know, it's old sixties. Very people don't like, sexualized realize, space. People don't know version. how fucking sexy James She's Fonda. She's in like this pleather, leather jump like onesie. It, it's very sexualized and it's supposed to be a sci-fi movie and it's just the most sexual. Oh, it's yeah. It's a loosely veiled. It's a, it's, it's a softcore soft porn, porn acid soft trip. Porn. What a fucking movie. It's like it's got vibes of a of, 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 of fucking Flash Gordon yes. mixed with just softcore porn mixed with acid trip shit. It's, it's amazing. So, it's a trip. It really amazing. is a trip. Amazing. Great film. Great movie. It really is um, a trip. It really is a trip. Also, speaking of hot uh, Jane Fonda, uh -huh. you ever seen uh, the movie with her and, and Donald Sutherland called Kluch? K-L-U-T-E. Yeah, Clute, Clute, yes. If you haven't yeah. seen it, you've seen it? Uh, uh, if you I think haven't, I saw it. Even if it's been too long ago, yeah. watch that one again. That's a hell of a movie, Karagi. All right, okay. Hell of hey, a movie. Hey, listen, before I want to, let me just do the last, oh, my hair looks good. Let me just do the last fight thing. You, you're getting, something got you all hot and bothered. No. What got you going? I, nothing. I just need to own my sexuality, Hanato. I need to own it. I'm tired of apologizing for. I apologize. Don't, I don't own my. Go I, ahead. I, I, I got a lot talk of your shit. I got talk a lot of you shit. I got talk you shit, Karen Bryant. Talk you shit. I know you do. I got do, a lot of issues, out. and I got. I do have a lot of issues about my uh, self-esteem issues. But well, you also your sexuality. Let it. But I let need it. to. I need to be more Megan the Stallion, and I keep. You know, you need it. to be. Huh. You need to give it out. Give your you give it out willy nilly to people. Oh God. I, I don't need to do that because I don't want to do that. But well, if you die from a, if a bus hits you tomorrow, then you're going to be sorry. When you're flying up to heaven, you go, ah, I should have just started fucking people. Ah, God, are you? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. If I saw somebody I wanted to, maybe I would. When you had an Uncle Hanach get I killed? I haven't seen anybody. Again, I still Listen. haven't seen anybody. If I saw somebody I wanted to, I, I would, but I haven't seen anybody. When your Uncle Hanach is on his deathbed and he's about to expire, He's going to have a shit eating grin on his face because he's going to go like this. Oh, God, I you. <laughs> and no, he gratch. Oh, I did what I wanted to do, God, I you. I'm telling you. I have done a lot of things I wanted to do. You're not enough as far as I'm concerned. I just, honestly, like I said, I haven't seen anything I wanted lately. If I wanted something... If I saw something I wanted, I would go for it. I haven't seen. That's what makes me sad is that I haven't seen anything I wanted. How many like double have you? How many menage a trois? You so know what I mean? What? We're not going there. I, I wanted to talk about. Let me just wrap up the fight stuff because I told everybody you and it's your call and and this was a very good one. Uh, they oh. <laughs> AI race swapped oh. celebrities and it's hilarious. So we have like eight, these oh. eight pictures of these celebs, people that you know and love. Very or fucking funny. Know, but race swapped, the AI made them and it is freaky and Some hilarious. of those fucked up my fuck Some of me them up. Are hilarious. Okay. So anyway, those were the, um, <clears throat> the main two uh, fights from this past weekend that I was uh, excited, uh, excited about and, you know, I just thought, like, yeah, those those, those guys showed out. They they threw down. Um, but let's. So wait, can I tell you something? One what? of these fucking guys goes, wasn't to hand to hand the guy that shot uh, uh, HFK? Oh, that's Sir Han. Sir Han. Uh, exactly. But that was a good joke. I know he knows. That's what funny. He's talking of course about. he knows. Not bad. Not bad. I would, okay. Touche. Maybe well, give him a, a plug. Uh, put I was his gonna name say, on well, there. Play. Okay. Not oh yes. Shabby. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Well, let me cancel this. I'm not too shabby. Something else. Uh, well played. Wait, where did it go? Yeah. Oh, yes. The Ender Band was Duran Duran, the guy who shot RFK. It's funny. Nice. Hey, and we might have another Kennedy running for office now, right? Really, I don't even fucking know what to be Yeah, honest. I think, um, I do, I think. Oh, uh, Kennedy from, from, yeah, uh, MTV? Yeah, The chick? Uh, you remember Kennedy, the chick from MTV? <laughs> oh, yes, I do remember Kennedy because I used to work with her. I know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You definitely don't want her being fucking president. That girl okay, is go ahead. not 
Let's yeah, she's a not. fucking head, a nut job Dude, for her. let's not go there. That girl is not cool. Um, okay, <laughs> she's not. She's She was not cool at all. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, just facts. I don't um, blame you. I mean, whatever. No, I should take that back. I take that back. It bees that way, some Chinese. I take that back. I take that back. It wasn't that she wasn't cool. I take that it's back. It's that you weren't cool. No, no, no. I take that back. It wasn't that she wasn't cool, although I was not necessarily her biggest fan. It was more that she got prejudicial treatment because the guy that was running MTV was her old boss from K Rock, so he just uh, gave cool. her pig, all kinds pig of stuff. vomit. No, Andy Schoen, who literally nope. told me to my face, he didn't think I was very good. Boom. Hey, listen, listen. He literally I've, told me that, and I was like, "Really?" I've been. T- can I tell um, you something? And I was like, "Okay, well, at least you told me. It's better than people not being told." But that's Andy fuel Schoen, for the fire. That fuck you. That's fuel for the fire. I've heard yeah. so many stupid things in my life, but I tell you what, I was told in eighth grade by a teacher. Oh. You've told me this before. I told you this. I'm going to reiterate for people who don't Please know. Please do. Yeah, no, no. He goes, Mr. Laranja, and he said it like that. Uh, Mr. He goes, Mr. Laranja, you are never going to make it in life. <laughs> and look at you now. Can, can you, but can you. Dude, that's so even, rude. Look, fair enough. Even if I wasn't going to make it in life, <laughs> can you imagine saying that to a, a no. 13 year old? Come on. No. I didn't kill somebody. I was probably, be, I would think I was being a class clown. I was goofing around or something like that. Right. And he sent me to the par- principal office. And before he sent me away, in front of everybody, not to my ear, whatever, right. in front of everybody, Mr. Laranja, you will never make it in life. That's and I just remember, like, what an awkward silence after that. I was like, okay, anything else? <laughs> you know, like, oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's. T- but I tell you what. People like that is a fuel for the fire because now I don't give a shit. But when I was hustling to try right. to make a name for myself, I can't lie if I didn't say like, we'll see, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I thought yeah, about that. I don't that. know what he's doing now. He might run another radio you know station what? or a network. I don't, probably... I don't know. Oh, I thought you I meant Mr. Re- Perhaps. Okay, go oh, ahead. Oh, no, no, no. But I remember, yeah, this person that said that to me and I was like, huh. And, <laughs> and I, I disagree. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, well, I actually don't listen. think I suck. What great or talented person don't have someone like that in their story? Like, yeah. I mean, speaking of ironic, speaking of K-Hawk, uh, if you watch uh, Private Parch, yes, the people who of course, disparaged, the yeah, pig vomit, the right. people who disparaged fucking Howard Stern and said he was a fucking no talent, whatever, whatever, and wouldn't make it and right. was too this, that, and the other thing. The guy became the, you know, the king of all media. Of course, you know what I mean? Of all media, right. I mean, he definitely became the biggest hate your fucking personality the in the way, world. Is he still doing that show? He still does the show. It's, the only difference is it's not on K-Hawk. It's on uh, Sirius. No, so you I know it's pay on for Sirius. It. Yeah, I know, I know it's been on Sirius for a while. He still does it because Listen, I follow I him on the Instagram. I because with Buckwald and stuff. But I oh. remember... Wait, Buckwitch? Re- you was with Buckwitch? Buckwald. But oh, I re- Buckwald. But... I, but I get, I get that, and I like Howard. I used to listen to Howard. I like well, Robin and all the guy, Baba Booey, all the whole thing. Oh, uh, I, 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 I like Howard. I, I was down. To me, it was literally. I just, I guess, I'm just sort of like, wow. Uh-huh. After all these years, like, you're still doing it. Like, I'll tell you what. He's accomplished yeah. everything, but I guess there's always still cool inter- people to interview and people to meet. It's just he's made all the money. I guess it's like he doesn't need to do it. But he enjoys it. I, and and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I get that. Um, I follow him on Instagram because I don't listen to I don't buy serious. I don't have serious, right, but I, I follow him on Instagram and he shows clips from the show oh, and okay. he gets the who's who of modern of course, yeah, guests. Totally. So it, he's still as hell of an as ever. I mean, it's amazing. And he, well, he but he's a little nicer. You could tell he's been through therapy and he's he's a little bit wiser. Well, that happened before when he became a judge on AGT. So the fact that he. Oh, OK. So he, the the whole sort of rebranding of Howard happened a long time ago. Well, he's like, still funny like, though. I'm I mean, da- I'm down. I like him. He's still I'm, funny. I'm, yeah, I I I've always was a fan. I always liked yeah. that show. I listened to it back when I used to live in New York and all that. Like, no, yeah. I'm down. He's I'm just not saying, as insecure. I'm just amazed he, yeah. that like all these years later, also because it's a morning thing, and yeah. I used to well, do morning radio. But he's used to it, me. right? He but don't that's mind the other it. Part of it, you have the muscle memory, but like literally for that much of your life 
going to bed at nine o'clock or whatever. Ugh. Like and waking up at three, like it's it Fuck sucks. That. Like it sucks. No, it so sucks. But some people are built for that. I'm not. But I get some it. Like I said, are. I used to do it, and I and I and I was good at it. Like if honestly, if somebody said to me tomorrow, Karen, uh, Robin Roberts is retiring from uh, Good Morning America. Do you want the job? I would say yes, and mm. I would take that job, and I would crush that. But job. you would refuse unless they take Hana- Uncle Hanach with you. Can you? <laughs> Wait, can you imagine? <laughs> How long would I last on there, you think, for her? Hey, by the way, well, well, look at... Hey, Hanato, uh, you uh, should hit up Fox. Oh. Tucker Carlson is gone from Fox. You are very unpolitically correct. You can yeah, go to Fox. I, Don I think Lemon he, is also out. You're very listen, suave. You could, you could go apply for both Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson. I house. think Chaka Carls have a different appeal than your Uncle Hanach, okay? I don't know that we in the same wheelhouse for her. Something tell me. Can you imagine I, I wear like the seersucker suit oh my God, and a fucking bow tie? And, you, you, and I'm like, hey, did you hear that? Uh, <laughs> just dress like Andy from, from the office mask? and say the most racist stuff possible. Fucking goofball. Yes, I got to wear some Sperry Chop Ciders. Oh, that fucking hey, piece listen, of shit. Hey, listen. Listen, uh, I don't follow either of those dudes. I'm not a fan of Neither of, of them. Or whatever, Don so. Lemon's corny, true. I yeah. prefer Don Laran Jr. Don Laran like, Jr. I, I, let, let the record show. I'm not crying for Don nor Tucker. Don't don't yeah. care for either of them. Don't, don't whatever. But the one thing I will say mm. is that... When you have a public job like that, like a forward facing job, it does suck to lose it. I've lost, obviously, I've lost, I've I lost bet. jobs on TV, right? I've lost jobs uh-huh. on TV and I lost a job at CNN on TV. And guess what? They also didn't tell me. That's what they do, though, right? So, like, of course. And I, they had no reason, at least with Don Lemon, at least with, you know, and Tucker with the whole case about, you know, Dominion and all that stuff and all the yeah. texts that came out about all the stuff that he really sure. thought. And him you being know, a, yeah, a lying whatever. piece of shit. Right. Yeah. All the stuff he really thought versus what he said on air are totally different. And mm-hmm. with Don Lemon, he got caught saying things and he's had bad relation or questionable relationships. They both seem like bad dudes, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, shit um, bags. Yeah, they both seem like bad dudes. But um but but the thing that the thing that people should know is like when you have TV jobs like that, like yeah, a lot of the time they don't fire you until after you did a show. So that you don't go on some like crazy rampage on your last show. Like, like, like that's the point because the thing is, is like, you know, unless there's certain people who've had shows, like I think what's his name, Shepard Smith and certain people, like they know their thing is ending and they don't think you're going to flame out, but certain people that maybe have controversial whatevers, like they, the network thinks this dude might go rogue. So they just will always tell you after a show, hey, of by the course. way, that was your last one. They're yeah, never why gonna give the you apple an cart. opportunity to say goodbye because they think you're gonna flame out. It's I remember it I sucks. remember they fucking they fired me from the uh cello novella that I used to be on, you know. Oh. Um and but they did it dirty. I they didn't even give me any warning. I had to heat it a couple days before in the fucking script. I go, Oh, carayo, thanks a lot, people. But Funny enough, though, like I still had like one or two to to record, and you should have seen my attitude on the set. Was just like I wasn't checking no shit, and people, oh. I just knew, no, but it was fun, and it was funny. I, I remember thinking, boy, if I could have just been this person the whole, the whole time, time, like how he lacked, I was, you know, I would have been experimenting, just doing. I probably would have been doing. I probably would have won a, 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 a fucking job. Oscar. I would have won an Oscar for soap opera acting, you know, because I was so loose and, and he lacks, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he didn't But I just he remember care. not taking shit from nobody, like being like, I get you, when I get you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, you know, like when you, when you're worried about losing your job, you saw, ah, uh, try it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then when, when, when it's all the way, you like, and the way they treated me, I was like, nah, go fuck yourself, you know? Well, I, I have an, a great cancel story, uh, and then for and then we'll and then we'll move on. But literally the worst the worst case mm. of oh really I'm fired um, was Junkyard Wars. Thanks TLC. Um, <laughs> so I did Junkyard a couple of seasons of Wars. Junkyard Wars, right? And this guy that uh, my ex uh, knew um, was a director. Oh, and, Junkyard Dog. 
Right. And so I was like, oh, yeah, hey, you know, so I introduced him to the people at the production and he was like, oh, you know, wanted to try to get a job as a director and blah, 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 blah. And so I introduced him to the whole thing. So, uh, like I said, I'd done a couple seasons. So he calls one time and he's like, oh, hey, I just wanted to say thank you so much for, you know, introducing me. You know, it worked out and um, yeah, it's great. You know, I'm going to be working for with them. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Like, I don't know when we start, but like, Mm-mm. it's going to be really fun. He's like, Mm-mm. he's oh. like, what week, Himosabi? <laughs> totally. <laughs> like, they didn't wait. Um, we start like, you know, like, you know, in two days or whatever, like you don't work there anymore. Like, and they just effing never told me. That I had business. a couple of places that I worked that literally never told me I don't work there anymore. They're so cowards. I'm still, I still technically am waiting to hear that I didn't. They're get fucking them. cowards. They don't cowards. want, they, they just want to go. Ugh. Cowards. Yeah, they are. They're cowards. Cowards. They don't want to have to look you in your face. And, and also, you know, the thing is, how about just level with me a couple months before so I cannot be spending money as if I still Thank have a you. fucking job. <laughs> Scumbags. Sucks, Fuck you. Man. Fuck you to all of you out there like that. It sucks, man. It sucks. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. Like, so, so again, again, I'm not crying for Tucker nor Don, but I can relate to the, Listen, the upheaval and the like, what the F-ness of Both the, of those guys of is like abru- bad guys. Of- yeah. Both of those fucking squares is like bad guys in comedies. For sure. They both come off like like stereotypical bad guys in a comedy. Totally. Especially totally. fucking Chaka. So that by guy the looks way, like the next thing you know, they'll have an character. opposites attract show together, right? Oh. Somewhere somebody's put pitching a show with the two of them as talking heads opposite each other. Salt you know that's Kappa. happening right now. Yeah. You know that's happening. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they can both just go away and just bye. Bye. Who's that other guy bye. that he might me of Chaka? Like they would be Girl. best friends. You know that guy bye. Ben Shapiro? Oh. Don't you know, like where you see him like dissecting hap lyrics and he goes like, So let me get this straight. She has a wet vagina and it's a wet ass. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? That stuff oh, I'm like who's dissecting WAP? Yeah, I'm like, oh, who does that please, appeal dude. to? If like you some can't fucking enjoy the beauty wimpy... of WAP then F you. You don't yeah, deserve but, it. Like, uh, it's you funny because, just... but I see like MMA fighters and stuff follow this guy and I'm like, what about uh, that wimpy mother, that wimpy okay. motherfucker appeals no, to you? Let's, we got to okay, pivot true, real true. fast away from this because okay, we get okay. down the whole okay, track. Okay, fair enough, fair you enough. You don't look into what your heroes actually like because you fair. know. <laughs> Wait, somebody goes, don't. wait a second, somebody said that the thing would be called Honky and the Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> What? You know, like if they did a heady oh, shot together, did, yeah. it's all honky and the ninja. Honky and the ninja. Wait, you know, it's all. Oh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wait, wait. You tuned into honky I'm and the ninja. I'm trying on... to think. Tuesdays or whatever. <laughs> honky and the ninja. Honky and the yeah. ninja. <laughs> oh, the morning zoo. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah, well, I'm trying to find the right. I don't you're know. You tuned into know. honky and the ninja. Monkey and the ninja, that's what <laughs> Man, that would that that encapsulates the whole shit. Oh honky seriously, and the seriously, ninja. honky and the ninja and those guys oh wait, yeah, no, that's it. Don you guys can just bye. Bye, girl, bye. Someone said Chaka Carlson is so awesome. I hope that's that's uh uh what I you think call? that's a joke. Ihonic or whatever calls. Oh, Maybe God, Omega right. really feels this way, but I don't think he's awesome. No, um, that guy, that, that guy is corny. Is, the thing about it is what's so That Negro weird. is corny. Huh? No, but what's so weird about it is that, like, there's proof that he, like. That he's full of shit and right, they don't like, even believe the, the shit I he's guess, saying. I, I, know. I guess that's the thing I don't understand is there's full on proof that the stuff that he said is not the stuff he believed. And yet, people still Care want Branch, even to on see top the of guy that. on TV. Like, why do you still want to see a guy lie to you? I don't get it. Even on top of that, let's say why that do didn't you still happen. Want to see him lie to you? Let's say that didn't happen. The guy, like I said, is like a villain in a in a broad comedy. He dresses like with the <laughs> fucking the outfit, but on yeah. top of that, 
the guy is like everything you hate. Like he's a trust fund baby born into the what is it? The Schwanson chicken? Oh yeah, uh, um, like born on Thursday. Frozen basically. dinner? Like yeah. yeah but I'm yeah. saying he he's the heir of like the right. I think it's the Hungry Man dinners or, or oh, a Swanson. Oh, so he's just born rich. I don't know no, the story. I don't no, no, know. I mean like like beyond born rich. Like he's an heir to like either Tyson chicken or 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 Swanson's dinners or something. Oh, some okay. bullshit. Ty, Tyson or uh, 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 the Gordon's fish stick. I one of those fucking <laughs> things. So he's this guy that dresses like he's in the Hamptons and he's got a cocky fucking <laughs> new attitude. Right. Oh, I know I don't a bunch know, of guys like him. I but went I'm to just school saying, with a bunch of dudes like him. I don't know how this appeals to a, a wide swath of people. Because to me, most people tend to hate that kind of fucking guy. So I don't understand. It's a mystery to me. I don't get it. I think it's just because he at least, he he may look a certain way and be a certain sort of you know, smarmy, you know, uh, uh, prep school, whatever, but he's saying the thing, quote unquote, a lot of people want to hear. I, I don't know. I guess so. I guess so. Maybe I, his I, message. I, so yeah. they don't care what the messenger looks like because they yeah. like, they just okay, like Okay, fair enough. They're like, oh, he's one of those guys, but he's on my side for him. Maybe I guess. I, guess. I don't know. Like I said. I didn't watch his show. I didn't That's, watch Don. That Lennon's ain't for show. me. That ain't for you, I, Uncle Hanach, Poha. I'll tell you that I much. Didn't, I didn't watch either of those. I'll guys. smack that guy across his lips, Poha. Didn't watch either of those guys. But I did go to college with a million guys that look like Tucker Carlson. Like, I know a million Tucker Carlsons, for sure. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. Hey, so, oh, somebody said heir to Purdue. VT oh, that, oh, that makes sense. Purdue. Purdue. <laughs> oh, wait. So he's the son of Frank Purdue. God, uh, Frank chicken you remember my friars or 70% bigger. Frank, like Ross Perot. Frank Purdue. He looked like, like fucking Ross Perot. Now wait a minute. He, wait a minute. Now, what was okay. his thing? He had a thing that he it was like like a flat tax or something. Yeah, the flat tax. Ross. Now Perot. wait a minute. Now, now give. Now wait now. a second. Wait. Yeah. What was his? What was his? His um. A oh, tax phrase catch or something. Phrase. Now, 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 just it was something like now, now you wait just a cotton picking second. God, you wait. What was his catch phrase? I can't remember, but it was something uh, uh, along Darn. those lines. Now let me finish or something. Now, now, now. Damn it. All right, I, I don't remember. I don't the remember. The, l- listen, we really show in our age. Hospiro, that's a long time ago. Most of these oh. kids don't know who the fuck that is. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. So here. Okay. 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 All right. They okay. F- they okay. Fuck they you. F you in the drive thru. Okay. 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 They. Okay. Okay. Um. Wait. No. Wait. Um. They f you in the drive thru. Here is this. This weekend. Song Yadong is fighting Ricky Simone, Bantamweight fight, UFC Vegas 72. I will be working this weekend, heading out to Vegas on Thursday, working with Alan Joe Ban and Michael Chiesa. I will have these two by my side. So here is Chidi's Choice for... Wait. Healy Song Quick, y- somebody just said that Harry Belafonte died or whatever. I know, I already talked about the top of the show. He passed away today. I didn't even, I, you know, I haven't been looking at the news or whatever. I didn't oh, even know that. Oh, yeah, no, he was 94 or 95, jump in the line. I'm surprised you didn't tell me because okay, I'm considered the heir apparent to Harry Belafonte. You are the Harry Belafonte, yes, I did talk I'm about I'm the that. Harry Belafonte for a new millennia. I do, oh. I'm a Harry Belafonte fan. But so here wow. is Chidi's choice for uh, Song Yudong versus uh, Ricky Simone. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Chidi's Choice Today. The Festival Dragon canceled. mascot will be choosing the UFC I Vegas got canceled. main event between Song Why? Yedong and Ricky Simone. When? So, currently, Chidi's record is 19-9-1. What we do is we take these so. names, we put them down canceled. in front of some arugula, but first we randomize these. No, Armin down. Sarukian versus here. Hanatum Waikano got canceled. One over here, and we put Chidi down, and he makes his choice. He has gone to the right. Oh. Often does. Oh, gee, he's hungry today. Cheaty believes Ricky Simone. Oh, Ricky is Simone. going to pick up the dub. We shall I see. I could see that. I could see that. I could see that. I mean, that's yeah. a pretty even fight, though. It, it is. So, yeah, the initial, the original main event got canceled. Hanata Moikano. Oh, that's why. No, you yes. know what? No, you know what I'm thinking of? They were supposed to fight this last, last card. Last week. 
and they Whatever. moved it to the main event of this. That's why I'm I'm still stuck in that. That's all I'm yeah. thinking. I, yeah, my, they were my supposed bad. to fight You're last right. week in the co-main. They moved it to the main event this weekend yeah. because Hanato Moikano got injured. He was supposed to fight Armin Sarukian, which is actually a great fight. Ooh, so that would have been nice. That would have been nice. I know. Hopefully they restore that. Ooh, but... those are true. That's true doggies. That's true fucking pitch ball. To- totally, totally. Well, so so is this one, though. Like, these two are going to get after oh, it. Oh, for sure. Um, for sure. But I'm just saying, hey, th- that oh, other one I like. I agreed, like that. Agreed. Agreed. I'm a big Song Dong fan. You know, I've known him a long time. I met him. You're a big uh, Dong yeah. fan, period. Doesn't matter if he's a song about that Renato. one. I don't It's been so long. I don't even remember. It has been long. <sighs> Do I? I, it's been, I don't, it's ages. Do you think you would even know what to do with that one at this point? Or is it like getting back on, is it like hiding no. a bike? Do you want to know that? Do you want to know the truth? Yeah, I do. Complete Level. candor. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I know what to do. Like uh, if, the unknown. if you've been married for forever and then when you got out of the marriage, you haven't had any dates, uh, I don't feel confident that I know what to do. That's me you need you need a level with a small honest. hand. Now, now here's the thing. I'm not. I, I should say. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Mm. You've had a couple dalliance. But I'm saying I. Yeah. It's been a very long time, and it's. Have you been, been with any African intri- men since? It, it, huh? What? Have you been with any African men since you met? <laughs> shut up! Shut up! I told. Um, okay, so here's the question. Why are we talking about that? We shouldn't talk about Do that. you know your way around a brajol at this point? No, do you think, are you willing? Honestly, there's a bunch of, there's probably a bunch of stuff that the kids are doing these days that I don't even know about. I probably need to, I probably need Listen, to Listen, we should take some peyote and go do a sweat lodge or whatever and just work it out, talk it out, kind of, yeah, and just. Yeah, I probably just need to walk jo- You know where I'm going to take you to? Joshua tree. Don't dare, I'd go burning, man. Okay. I'm going to anyway. take you to Joshua tree. I'm going to feed you peyote and mushroom. And then we're going to play my Joanson like a didgeridoo, like wow, 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 Oh my God, the didgeridoo. In, anyway, just out I in the should... desert. At this point, I should just tell my mom, what, what's the time code on this? I'll tell her, hey, just skip the part between such and such and such and such. Your mom no, likes to listen here. to, like to sexualize your Uncle Hanach when she No, I got, a, I got a message here. KG had written us back just saying that it was so much fun. Thank you, KB. Um, oh, he's great. Uh, he's great. Yeah. I love um, that kid. We love you. I'm just going to say, enjoy Mexico. Oh, yeah. Enjoy um, the Mexican. Okay. Moment. So, yeah. No. So, whatever, Hinato, uh I know. what. Listen, 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 listen. Let's just say, yes, I know what I'm doing. Come on. Of course I know what I'm doing. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's your I What's mean, your main? If they was to put, listen. If they was to put, you know, before the fight, no, they say like know, your best steps. You know, like it I'm says, really like cardio at. for I'm days. Not telling you what I'm really good at. Or it says like uh, stand up, like striking great. Uh, one, I am you know, heavy not hand. Telling you what I'm really good at. What? Hey, uh, people in the comments, what do you think she's good at? For her? Don't. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Let's see what they think you're good at. That'll be interesting. Well, get Bonk said I can go to Toronto and get it. Listen, oh, oh, oh on oh. a couple, I got a couple questions like that about you on my live. Some guy goes, listen, wait. How KB got her groove back? A festivity special. Ah, wow, fuck. <laughs> um, some guy, I encouraged him too because he said, he said, listen, I'm 36. I, 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 is she Ooh. cool with that? Like, is that, am I yes. too, like, yeah, and I said, my brother, no, that's not true, young. I'm like, Bring it. shoot your shot or whatever. So I don't know if he's going to whatever. 36 but is fine with That's me. what I thought. That's probably a nice wheelhouse for you. I'm not mad at 36. No. I mean, <laughs> your uncle Hanach haven't gotten to 36 yet, but he's. Oh, <laughs> you. Look, look at this. What? How? He, back when. In the old days, they didn't have guys that look like this. Like, uh, I mean, I'm chimeless. I have a chimeless look. Boy. That's right, Daedalus. Oh. So KB's good at everything she actually wants to do, period. No. 
she's good at getting her period and then ruining everything. <laughs> you ever seen a movie, Your Friends and Neighbors? Oh, God. Yes. So we've talked and about this before. There's a scene of your friends and neighbors, folks. Who, uh, uh, Jason Patrick that's a, is the most psychotic, uh, that's able heavy duty. dude. Anyway, heavy duty. Anyway, I don't want to spoil it, but if you have never seen the movie, see your friends and neighbors. Look, that monologue. What we were just saying there, and it, I was like, oh, my God. Like that's Okay, but so what about funny. this? When he's talking about what he did, what they did to the kid in the locker room. Oh, he they hate like as a prank they hate the kid that the the other a student the, or whatever. Yeah, and then they put they put tape across his butt cheek or whatever, yeah. and then he's he's in the sauna with the other guy telling the story. Jason Patrick, it's the it's it's like a horror movie. It's terrible. That's it's an intense like fucking movie. There it is. It's re- I haven't. Was that Neil Labuche? Neil Labuche. I can show, right. Yeah. I haven't seen it in probably. 30. Since it came out, probably. Yes. Me. Yes. Since it came and, out. And since but... it was on cable, like maybe in the couple years Ooh, after. But I might need to watch it again. That's a. That's a. That'll cure you from ever wanting to be in a relationship ever again. Bro. Yeah, you're right. I'll tell I, you that I, much. I do need to. I do need to look at that again. Okay. So listen. Henato, on the hit list, we've done a couple of things. We did Calvin Gaslam interview. We talked about UC Vegas 71. We had our cheaty choice for song versus Simone. And your AI celeb snapshots. Okay. So this why don't you set this up? Because you're the one who found this. Why don't you explain? Well, because, it? okay. So the reason why I called you about this is because, <laughs> the, and I'm sure people have seen this on Instagram. Me, This came across my um, my Instagram and I started laughing. I was like, spit out my coffee because... Oh, I, there's so many things this AI shit is doing, okay? Um, and and so, in this particular one, it was turning white celebrities black and and black celebrities white. And some of the ones, some of the ones it was like, okay, whatever. But some of the ones made you like want to spit out, like do a spit shake. And then some of them look so comfortable in their skin like some of them look and i'll tell you when i when we see them which ones that is some of them look more comfortable as a black guy than as a white guy but then some of them look strange but there's a couple that are just like Mwah. perfect so there's a and couple I, and, and you never considered this before so it's like it's something you mind didn't it's something you didn't know you needed until you saw it and you go i needed this in my life agreed and there's a couple that i went Wait, I know that dude. Like, like, like. You've like seen I, him before, yeah. I, I know uh-huh. that guy. Like, I actually know that guy. Like, it's it, crazy. It, okay. It's it's really crazy. It 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 really is crazy. I wonder um, if people had know what we're talking about. All right. Well, we're about we're about to show them. Okay. So, for example, the first one, and I forget. I we should maybe give credit to the. Um, it was called Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> 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 so these are so that's Will Smith. So Will Smith looks Will like Jeremy S- Renner to me. I could see guy. that, and for some reason, he looked like he could be related to that guy Theo Vaughn or whatever. Okay. Yes. Yes. Somehow I see them being in the same family somehow. <laughs> but Black Brad Pitt almost resembles a. Li- there's a little bit of Jamin Hunso in there, and there's a little Tyron Woodley in there too. Oh, I could see that. Like, I some, mean, it's uncanny. It's but crazy. But Simon Hansu's nose is different. No, no, but there's, there's something. So I, I said that's what I mean. Just something. There's a well, sprinkle. Well, Simon's very handsome, and so yeah, he's a very Pitt. handsome so, man. Yeah, yeah. So those that trend that actually does. Simon Hansu is very handsome. Brad Pitt as a homie, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he looks pretty good. I think that they that you could put a different hair on him and make him look better. Yeah, I don't love the hair. I don't. I don't, I don't love the is. frosted chips, uh, fucking uh, uh, dreads or right. cornholes, whatever the fuck. I think I would like him is. in better in just a regular fro or something. Or regular but his flight. face, like, his face looked good. Yeah, his face looks real good. <laughs> See, On, yeah, it's strange, face. right? It's crazy. Yeah, and so Will Will Smith, this person, uh, Tabali TG, saying Will Smith looks like Alan Richson. <laughs> well, who the fuck is that? <laughs> well, I or does he mean Alan Rickman? Maybe Alan Rickman. Yeah, but I he don't he, look like fucking Alan Hickman. Now. I think he looks like Jeremy Renner here. I can see that. Uh, who who else do he look like? Way 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 in brother Brad Pitt. Yes, he kind of looks. I could see him. that. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. 
And, and yeah, to, uh, to Bali saying he does look like Jaime. Yeah, for some saying. reason, that's what I keep seeing in my mind. But, but you like, know what? Yeah, you can't does, say I someone's mean, Trump, wrong. So for people who don't know, Jaime Hansu is in Amistad. Um, and he's a fashion Blood model. Diamond. Um, he actually, I met him because my old roommate, my old roommate, Eric, years ago, was uh, worked in fashion. And so he knew Jaime. And I remember meeting Jaime the same night I met. Um, rest in peace. My namesake there, uh, Mr. Kobe Bryant. Um, oh, it was at a party uh, in Beverly Hills. And... Um, but yeah, Jimon is very handsome, and Br- and Brad Pitt is pulling off the look though. That's what I'm saying. J- Chocolate Brad Pitt works. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, okay, let's go does, into the next. Who, who does White Will Smith? Oh, next. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, okay. uh, White Will Smith is something else. It's yeah. weird. Who? It, it's it's. He Jared does. He Ritter looks like someone I can't put. Well, and it's just Will. Oh, Smith. wait a second. Check away the beard. I'm seeing some Jason Bateman in there. If a you take away the bit fucking in the beard. Eyes. Yeah, a little bit in the eyes. Or huh. something. In like the. Yeah. Huh. White. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's see what else we got here. Um. Okay. So let's see. Uh. Okay. The next one. Wait till the one that I want is oh, crazy. Oh, dude. I'm saving it for last because it's. The hilarious. funniest ones haven't even happened yet. I know. Okay. So here we go. Um. Here's um, Margot Robbie and. Se- <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's fucking I know crazy. Robert Downey Jr. I swear to God, I know somebody. That looks exactly oh, for sure. like for sure. Black Robert Downey That's Jr. That's crazy. You can see it. It's it's crazy. And the Marvel hobby is like, I see that too. She looked African or something. She looked yes. very cute. She looks good. Yeah. Well, and the <laughs> thing the that, that this one to me also messes with me because <laughs> when I straighten my hair, you know, yeah. my hair is like lighter and stuff. So. It kind of freaks me out, but like I'll get like people if I put put a picture on Instagram, people are like oh my god, oh my god, you look amazing, and it sort of offends me because I get a lot more compliments when I have my hair straight, well, and I get a lot more people saying oh wow you look pretty and you know or different or let's just well, say different people. But Karen Bryant, I think it's because it makes me look more white. Okay, so but I okay. actually get slightly offended because okay, and I understand the same that face. Same face. I just look more white now. Let me help you out with this. Let me help you out. Let me help you out with this a little bit, though, because I understand exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Um, On Forge, uh, have you ever seen the the documentary that Chris Hogg did called Good Hair? Hair? So, if you can think of it like this, instead of thinking of the people as being racist or being like, oh, fuck you for saying that or whatever. Think about it like this. Some of the stuff we like is so arbitrary. It's just what we used to. Like, for instance, if I go like this and you see underarm hair, people go, okay, whatever. If you did that right now, they'd be like, ew, what are you, a hippie or whatever, you know? Right. It shouldn't be a difference. But I have to admit, I'm brainwashed too about that. But it's just curly hair. I understand. Well, hold, no, no, but hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm brainwashed too that that um, oh, women shouldn't have underarm hair. Okay. Uh, we just used or we used to women shaving their legs. In it's America, not that it's yes. height or hung. It's just what we used to. We just right. seen it so many fucking times that you equate nice legs gotta be silky smooth. You know what I mean? Okay. If we didn't have that bombarding in our brain, it wouldn't be that way. The shame of it is, it is that way. And I'm brainwashed too. I can't, I, I don't know how I would get hit of that now. For so much of our life, and even black women, their hair is straightened on night, when they go to a nice event or whatever. We have all, black, whoever you are, we have been conditioned to think straight hair is elegant. I know. And is feminine. Okay, so some try and even for black people too. So you, you almost can't blame someone if we all been bombarded with that shit our whole life. It's just in you, you know. Some women, some women look so a circumcised penis. Okay, that's not natural. Okay, right. that have become so 
what people see in pornos or whatever, whatever you see, it becomes synonymous with a normal penis is fucking uh, uh, uncircumcised it to the point where if a woman says, oh God, he's uncircumcised, you know what I mean? But it's what they used to seeing. You know what I'm saying? So yes. at some point you got to say. I know, but I guess it's just that it makes me sad because the quote unquote re used sure. to seeing, the whole reason you're used to seeing it is because that's like the production. Sure, but like you still can't blame someone. The decision, that's True. what they want, they like, and so that's True. what they put on the air, and so that's what you're used to seeing because that's of what course. they like, and so that's the whole but point. Is it just they are a victim of it? Layers upon layers, it just accentuates the whole. I understand the whole thing. But hate the hate. Don't hate the player. Hate the game because that person <laughs> is yeah. just as much of a victim of the bullshit as you are. Right, but it doesn't make me feel good. Oh, fair I enough. I understand but the whole thing. I understand fair enough, why but you're conditioned to think that way. I get it. Yeah. I understand. I understand. But, you know, to be able to separate that and go and, and to be flattered still at someone finding you a trash. You know, I mean, what if I put a tuxedo on as soon as I put a suit on, like every woman I walk on the street you and they and they're better. falling over themselves, you know, but you look way better. what if I was like, <laughs> When I don't have a suit on, you wouldn't get, I mean, it's like, okay, well, fuck yeah, it. But that's I, I could because a suit doesn't make you look, it's not about, it's because it's the hair, the straight hair thing, whatever. I don't want to get into it. Because Listen, I'm not a member. It's a whole racial thing too. It's not about just a look, suit and a, and you a know what? It, it, it's a, yeah. it's a whole, it's a whole other thing. It's a whole bunch of, you know what George Zimmer once said, you're going to love the way you look. And you know, he was the guy from the men's warehouse. Got the here. men's warehouse, the men's yeah. warehouse. Um, I like the guy from the hair thing, the hair club. He goes, I'm I'm not all I, I I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a but client. But I'm also a client. I'm also but a client. But I'm also a client. That's, okay, that's so, George, so anyway, Frank that Zimmer, was George Zimmer. Oh wait, so that was Rob Margot Robbie, who does <laughs> look like she looks like Nicole Richie, basically. Oh, she looked ten times better than fucking Nicole Richie. But you Are know you what I mean? Me? Like Nicole Richie was sort of half chocolate and all that, but then had blonde. Yeah, hair. but Honestly, she didn't have no uh this is but, better. But the Robert Downey looks like. Well, the funny thing is, is he obviously kind of looks like we saw him in Tropic of Thunder playing he, black. Yeah, which is why he it's looks also dead extra serious. Funny. You know who he looked like? That guy, something B Vance or whatever. Um, oh yes, Courtney B Vance. He yeah. does kind of look. That's um, what's your face? He, uh, Angela he's that type of guy. Courtney yeah. B Vance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's pretty good. Okay. Oh God! Wait till we we're get inching, this. We're inching ever closer to the best one. Here's the penultimate. Seth Rogen and Eminem. Okay. Okay. So for me, for me on all the whole list of these fucking guys, these two individuals, it's funny you put them both on the same slide. These guys look more like themselves. They look more comfortable in their own skin as black people than they do the white people. I feel like agree. this is seamless. Like the, especially this is the Seth Rogen. He looks like a person who lives and breathes. He, I, I can't. He, he's. Look at that. It's so good. And the Seth Rogen looks... Uh, I... And because you know what it is? Because Seth Rogen here kind of looks like Questlove. Like that vibe, you know what I mean? Kind of. Like, he also looks... What's that guy? He doesn't who look it? like Questlove, but it's that no, vibe. No, but I, you know I mean? he would be that type of guy. There's also exactly. a comedian. Was that that comedian like Kamal or something? Or Kamu, Kamu, oh, yeah. Who? Yeah, that Kamaru Bell or whatever. Something or, like that. He looked like he would hang out with those guys or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right like, like he knows funk music, but he also have a comic book collection and stuff. Right. But and also, smokes a lot of weed. The Eminem one, when I saw it, I was like, wait. Eminem looks like Big wait. L. It, yeah. It, it, but it looked so real to me, the yeah. Eminem one. I was like, yeah, it's crazy. Wait. Wait, like that one looked like it almost didn't look like a face swap so much that, as I. That's what I mean. Like, it looked like a I'm heel just looking person. At a picture of this black dude that I a that person. seems very familiar to me. It's the same, I get the same vibe of Seth Hogan. It's both of those true. I'm. It's crazy. This is the most believable ones of all. I'm like, yep, I know those guys. That's them. Fucking crazy! What are the people? Is this the blow? Does this blow your mind? I know. I'm trying to look at these comments and see. Yeah, someone said he looked like W. Yeah, Kamau Bell. W. Bell. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So he goes black. Seth Rogen uh, always uh, uh, lectures, people about, lectures people about the importance of jazz. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
By the way, I'm down with jazz. I'm a big jazz fan. Ah, I love jazz. But oh, God, are you? This is great. unbelievable. Matt, but Black Seth is a bass player, stand-up bass too. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. But but these guys, like yeah, he went to Berkeley <laughs> College of Music. Eminem looks like an Atheon Tucker. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck Atheon Tucker is. Am I behind Atheon the chance? Tucker is he like a football player? I have I no know. idea. I'm sorry, I don't know who Atheon Tucker. To is. me, he looked kind of like Big L, another happer. He almost as Seth looks like Rampage. <laughs> He doesn't look like Quentin. I don't know about that one. He doesn't look like Quentin. <laughs> no, no. Oh God. Does anyone else think Eminem looks like is, Big well, L? I'm saying this is what Eminem sees when he looks in the mirror, though. Probably. That's probably what his inner soul looked like for him. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> look at that guy. Oh, but my it's favorite. So okay, okay. My favorite one is crazy. So. I can't I, even think about this, it. No, dude. I when I saw these, and because again, Hanato is the one, folks, that found these on Instagram, and it's called Nerds, Nerds something that you follow. I don't know. I I don't think I even followed them. You know, it was it came in in like a suggestion or something, and I was I was shocked. I was in shock. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Oh, wait, here. You sent me the link here. Let me show it because I want to give. Them, I don't even I wanna... know that they're the ones who did it. They probably found well, it on some other shit. I don't know. I'm just going to say. They probably found it on Because I don't want it. Because I know. Because people take stuff from me and they don't credit Fair me. Enough. I hate when people do that. And I had some big so, memes taken from me and I can't stand it. Right. So the account that had this one is called Head Nerds in Charge. So that's the one <laughs> Instagram and that's a play on you know what in charge. So I swiped I swiped these from head Don't nerds go in charge. too far. I know. So I swiped these from Head Nerds in Charge. So shout out to Head Nerds in Charge. So shout here out to now okay. is the one Here's that my... both Hanato and I decide like there's this is so effing good that I basically lost my ass when I saw this. Uh ladies and gentlemen, I present to you John Cena and No no Tom Michael Hanks. Sarah. Michael I mean, Sarah. Michael Sarah, right, right. Michael Sarah, sorry, and Tom Hanks. <sighs> the Michael Sarah one, hands down, blows my fucking it that guy has his own sitcom. That guy is the next that guy is the next um um uh Arnold Jackson. Wait, who uh Gary Coleman? He's Coleman. the next JJ. He's the next he's, he's the next Gary Coleman. Like Dino he's the Light. next he's the adorable next Raj. <laughs> He's the next. Look at Michael fucking Sarah, please. And then Tom Hanks looks like the black John C. Hiley. That's what I'm saying. Tom Hanks, we know that guy. He looks like the black John C. Hiley mixed with, um, who's the guy? Um, mixed with a uh, Filipino. There's a Filipino actor well, that or, he looks like there. He looks like uh, if Terrence Howard and John C. Hiley had a baby. <laughs> with a Filipino lady. Sure. And then fucking Michael Sarah is just uh, as good as it gets. I ch I tell you what, Michael Sarah is what made me send this. It, 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 this is what put it over the edge. Is my, the Michael Sarah? So I'm picturing this Michael Sarah in the movie Juno instead, which oh! would add just another layer of amazingness to an already phenomenal movie. Can you? What do you guys think? What say you about this, uh, fans? What the fuck? Yeah, someone said Tom Hanks looks Afro-Cuban. Wait. Oh, right. That's what I'm saying. It's Afro-Cuban, Afro-something. Yeah. yeah, Tom Hanks is part Creole or part Mexican. Daddy Love said Michael is threatening the new Dwayne from, 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 from what's happening. Michael is threatening the new Dwayne yeah. from yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Oh, God, are you? Somebody goes, my... Uh, Sarah's part Chibali. of Jackson 5, 100%. What? Well, how about this? Michael Sarah going to get beat by Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> beat by Joe Jackson to Bali. That's harsh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. The Michael Tom Sarah Hanks one, yeah, I can't get over it. Off. I can't get over uh the Michael Sarah. It, it, it. He's a slee stack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, why he's a slee stack? What the fuck? I don't get that. Oh god. Oh god. If anything, he's Chaka from fucking uh Right, Mandalorian. right, so right, right, exactly. Don't look nothing. He's don't Chaka from right, exactly, right. He's super bad if they had a black main character instead. Oh, God. I mean, look it's at just, the genuine look of that one. It's so, it's so, it's just, 
I can't get over it. I'm in shock of it. I, I I'm obsessed with it. I wonder if Michael Sarah seen this. This is incredible. I don't know, but I don't know why the Michael Sarah one is so funny. He's so tender. <laughs> Imagine how sensitive that 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 young brother, that young blood is. Oh, it's just so good. But Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks, I tell you, God. he is. He's he's all kinds of ethnicities. Like he didn't look yeah. just black. Yeah, it's weird how suddenly it made him look. Like a mix yeah. of a bunch of different stuff. He looks like he would be in like in, in the bass player in Mar Mars Day and the Chime, you know, the Chime. Or he looks like he he would be in some funky stuff. Like how, he knows Prince or something, you know. Like I think yes, because whatever an interesting the, whatever cat. They Photoshop. Yeah, the outfit definitely reads seventies funk band or like you know. Or he's the guy who kills. He could have been cast as the guy who kills Patrick Swayze in Ghost. Oh. Could have. You're right. He could have. He could have. Or he could have been like, um, uh, oh wait, wait, what's what? Um, well, if from the jerk. I I love the jerk, but the one. Yeah, but who? The two guys in the car when they're stealing all the tires when they pull up to the gas station and Naven hooks up the the, the church. What but actor like, is that? And, wait, it's just a random this, guy. Ah, whatever, whatever. It's too. It's too obscure. Um, but anyway, he looks. <laughs> it's very funny. Oh God! Oh, he's selling Peruvian powder. They... <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, he does look Afro uh, Afro Latino for her. Matt Sarah but, Ben. Yeah. He's been, Michael Jackson. Been the two of us. Of us in the the been. We both found what we are looking for. Oh God! But those been. are funny. Those are hilarious. I don't know. I think those are hilarious. A good find. I Thank swear to God. Those. I need to know that Michael Sarah kid. I want to be big brother, like 4 H or, or big what big brothers and sisters or whatever. Right. Big brothers, little brothers to that Michael Sarah kid. The to the black Michael Sarah. I, I want to check that kid out on weekends and play toss a hound the pig skin and the He's baseball. He's probably so nice. You would teach him chess. I would teach him all I, I would teach him every stuff. Oh God! It's. Just... I wish. Why can't any of my sons be like it's... that? It's just... I want him to be my son. I think it's because of the fro too. It's a good sign. Everything, fro. every single thing about it's the it. Fro. Is... That's what it is for me. It's the fro because, like, it's not a high and tight. It's not whatever. It's like it's a. It's just a solid fro. It looks so much like a heel person. It's fucking uncanny. I can't. But so does Tom Hanks. It does. It's crazy. Oh, God. He's definitely more attractive, uh, Tom Hanks. He looks better look. Oh, God. As, as, so as an Afro Latino. People want to see. We'll have to. I'll have, I have an app actually on my thing. I can Wait, maybe make I feel I like I've seen make... myself as a white guy. No, I've seen it. I feel like FaceApp did that. I did that before. Oh, did I, feel, you? I feel like I've even posted before. It looks creepy. Uh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> oh. It looks yeah. creepy. Well, they're saying, yeah, the Ender Band is saying it's like these people totally exist somewhere. Yeah, they seem so believable. It does. It's insane. I mean, and I bet you, I bet you, you know how you see, like, I seen a thing where somebody posted just all people who kind of look like Adam Sandler. Okay. And there was like 10 different random fucking people. And in their own way, they all look like a dead hanger for Adam Sandler right. for, for different reasons. And you're like, wow, like, there's definitely... Kirkland versions of everybody out there. Well, they do say everybody has a doppelganger somewhere. Yeah, there. and even just, I mean, it's like, it's true. It's like, how many can nature come up with? I mean, it's like, there's going to be shit that's like, yeah, it's kind of like that. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, it's how many combinations can nature come up with, but it's like the infinite combination of of parents, though. That's the thing. Like, the, But, the, but the, the fucking dice is going to hold so many times. It, like, they're going to come up with like... I get it. Yeah, the recessives will combine and all that stuff, but like... The, yeah, the special combination of what I or, have with my parents is different from, you know. But true, but yeah, have you somebody, ever seen like... So my parent, my parental mix, could, though, but my skin tone, like I said, like the whole thing about being uh, Filipino or something, like somebody could be Filipino, like Russian, and then like like South American and come up with the same skin tone. You know what I mean? I'm, it's like I'm a telling you, yeah, I so. bet you if people wanted to, they could come up with five different people that look almost exactly like us if if, if you looked yeah. hard enough 
Yeah. Well, like I was saying at the beginning, people used to say I used to look like Sherry Belafonte. Speaking of the Belafonte, they, they used oh, to say I that's like, a good one. But I bet they, you there's people they, who they look cherry, dead. And then Hang a couple on. few people. Yeah. But I mean, I bet you there's people who look like where it's almost like that's her. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. if you if you um, of all the fucking people, there's someone who works at a bank in For in sure. fucking the Netherlands somewhere right. that looks like you. I'm telling right. you. Right. Oh, I agree. Yeah. yeah, no, it's weird. It's weird. But and and what a thing. What if you met your doppelganger? You know, that would be pretty. I weird. would kill that one because I can't yeah, have an imposter. He's an imposter and he's going to check. One. He's going to check pussy off my table. Well, this guy thought he looked like out of my George kid's Jefferson. mouth. <laughs> huh? wait, 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 wait. What did that say? Said he looked like a young George Jefferson. <laughs> All right. Michael Fair Sarah. enough. Uh, he looked like a black Michael Sarah is what he looked like as but far yeah, as I'm concerned. But yeah, but hey, oh, I, uh, a couple things I wanted to get into. Um, Why you, you wanted to get into? Well, no, there's just been a couple of, uh, uh, did you, are you a fan of the Fugees? Yeah. So did oh, you know no. that? Wait, what? what? Pros Michelle, you heard about his case? No. Dude, Pros Michelle from the Fugees yeah. is on trial for being like, a secret agent of the Chinese government and like he has f apparently funneled like hundreds of millions of dollars from d things and to like swayed like dude the story I wait I feel like I swear I got I thought well I, I, this is I, funny I, you said I this because it. but it's the most crazy thing because I was like wait why that must be why a friend of mine just sent the fucking wildest picture of Praz Michelle to me uh earlier today of okay, him yeah. in a speedo on a fucking motorcycle looking all buff and we i was laughing my ass off and i had no idea why he sent it to me but i just thought it was funny no dude he's literally wait i need to see the uh i'm sorry i thought i had written it down and i didn't he's literally on trial because <sighs> he um he um He's accused of acting as an unregistered agent of China and, Mal and Ma Ma this Malaysian billionaire working in the United States to gain political connections and influence, right? He was paid $20 million in 2012 to what? get uh, to get a meet, to get for this dude to get a picture with Obama. Huh. He then funneled like $800,000 through this fund, literally. But listen, at one point years later, he received over $100 million dollars to wow. help advocate for the release of a Chinese dissident. Um, he, <laughs> wow, he, he must have been he important. He sent letters to people, right? He faces 10 oh, charges, geez. including conspiracy, witness tampering, and failing to register as an agent of China. You know, he, he was almost the fucking over president. A decade in prison. Dude, it's insane. You know, he was almost the president of Haiti. Right. It's yeah. wild. Wow. Wild. Well, I'd love to see the movie. I'll tell you that much. Right? Right? Well, so, fuck. yeah. It's like, it's insane. Wait till I show you the fucking picture that this guy sent me of this fucking guy. Really? Where it's I was just like, this, like... Guy, this guy must be living. I mean, he, he's on some he's on some Putin shit. You know, like he's he, he's like living large or whatever. Well, it says here he testified. Michelle testified during the trial that he viewed the funds given to him as, quote, yeah. unquote, free money and he chose to spend uh, it how he wanted to he hey, testified not spend money that he wanted to support to. obama and and he didn't know he was any breaking any laws and all this stuff but like bro a hundred million how is that dollars? supporting obama how the fuck is that supporting obama checking well, money, it said they, like, someone to meet money him. through his like campaign and stuff like that but dude a hundred million you got a hundred million dollars oh god i I like. I would like. I'll do whatever the fuck it was that he was doing. Ask me to do it. I'll do that shit. You want me to be a double agent for the Chinese government? Mm. Where do I? <laughs> so then the other trial, because I had put this in the hit listing at the beginning of the show. The other trial is Ed Sheeran. Is Why? What did this guy do now? Ripping off Marvin Gaye. So um, let's get it on. They're saying sounds just like his song. Um, Whatever. Oh, I don't know his music, so... Uh, I don't know. It does sound just like it. I mean, and apparently, I, I guess they say they have a smoking gun because literally one time in a concert when Ed was performing the song, he then went into like a medley of the of the 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 uh, uh, Marvin Gaye song. And it's like, bro, 
Like you shouldn't show how accommodating they are. Like they're the same song. Yeah, you of. get. I mean, look, it's one thing to do the thing, but pay the fucking family. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah. Well, and it's tricky, right? Because like, it's happened before with the Verve and Bittersweet Symphony, and and with like, uh, what's his yeah. face and Blurred Lines and all. And have you ever heard fucking uh uh the ver? You know the um the original thing that yeah. Bittersweet Symphony. That, oh, it's like a Rolling Stones thing or whatever right. or something. Or it's like someone doing a Rolling Stones. Yeah. It's like, it sounds exactly like, exactly it's like, the it's, same. it's like you just, it's like, um, it would be like when, when, uh, uh, Vanilla Ice was like, no, no, no. Queens one goes, dun, 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 dun. Mine goes, dun, 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 or whatever. Right. Dun, yeah, dun, like, dun, 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 or whatever. And you're like, no, right. no, no, no. Just pay the fucking guys. Pay okay? the guy. Just yeah. and that's the whole thing. Yeah. It's, so it's 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 um yeah, it's 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 wild. But here, just wow. looking in the comments, everybody's like, Yeah, hundred percent it's a Marvin Gay song. Um yeah, and it, it it's, it's and, and, and it's like, come on, man, you already a stinking filthy hitch. And uh, sure it's so rich, right? Exactly. Sure. Come on, why, why you gotta hip off uh Marvin Gay, got right, Hasn't he yeah. been hasn't fucking Marvin Gay been through enough? Oh. Exactly. Got exactly. murdered by his own fucking pops. Oh, yeah, so the song you want to know is, something? Oh, go ahead. Uh, wait, no, no, no. I was just trying to say, I forget the name of the, the I was just trying to get the name of the Ed Searing song. Thinking Out Loud is the name of his song. Okay, I'll listen to it afterwards. I never it heard. Sounds, I don't, they I, sound I, just the same. I couldn't tell you one Ed Sheeran song if your gun was through my head. It sounds just the same. Um, you know, another fucked up thing about Marvin Gaye, you know, I don't know if you know this, but the <laughs> gun that his pops shot him with. Yeah. That he bought that one, like he bought it for his parents for for protection for them, and well, they was living in his, in his fucking it, house. He was kind dude, enough to let them live. It's not far from where I live. Like it's it, 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 Gramercy. But it's think not about far. that. My friends live right around the corner from there. I'm Can not, you imagine you let your you let your old parents move into your house, and you know why it was because he was his dad was kicking the shit out of his mom. Yeah, and he had to beat his dad's ass over it. And then his dad goes in and gets a gun and she kills him in no, his own it's fucking off of house. Adams Boulevard and like around Gramercy. It's not far from. It, I know. I know where it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is shame. the whole thing. Like Elmo. Yeah. Saying Puffy. Don Jackson saying Puffy's still paying Sting. You know what I mean? As I he mean, should be. As five thousand dollars a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the big, as like, he fucking should be. Every every breath you take, he it's the it's he took the song it's and the then he made a song. song over the exact same riff that those guys wrote. How is that not? And it's one thing pay. he didn't even try to. It's funny when you see, like, a sample is a sample, but certain shit is like, oh, you didn't even, like, put anything on top of it. It's just, like, you basically just... You just took the song and wrote new words. did the fucking song. Yeah, you just, come yeah. on. You, you, yeah. Yeah. You didn't even flip it and do something weird to it or chop it up or nothing. Change you the, just, like... Yeah, change the pitch up a, a down Let's just down put it like that. Yeah, like you said, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, Hanacha, anything else you want to get to? I was telling the folks. Um, I think these I, people have been treated to one hell of an episode, to be yeah, honest. And, and with, with KG. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and so yeah, that's KG. He's a repeat uh, a repeat offender here with us. He was on episode 29 and then back for episode 80. Uh, so if you tuned in late and you missed any of that, uh, it was great having a mom with us. But yeah, you know, um, I'm working this weekend. Um, so it's going to be. Oh, yeah. Fun. Wait, this is a good one. Wait, who is there? Who's on this? So one? it's Song Yidong versus Ricky Simone. We oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cheaty's Choice. But we also, the, the co main event um, with Ola Shechek and um, um, uh, Kyle Bohalio. Wait, Oshay ja Oshay o Jackson? Ola Shechek, the Polish oh. guy, and Kyle Bohalio, uh, Brazilian guy yeah. with the neck tattoo with the little crown thingy here. Oh. Those two are going to get after it. It's like, you know, maybe like striker grappler type thing or whatever. But like, I'm just saying kind of like what my point was before talking about Bruno uh, Blindado and stuff like that, like talking about middleweights. Like these are, again, you know, it's one of these cards where like may not be a lot of name brand people, but up and coming talent, talent that, you know, in a year or it's two. It's Kirkland ago, brand. Like, right. It's yeah. Kirkland. You guys would be like, oh, this dude slays, you know, remember when he fought so-and-so. So yeah, watch these fights. Yeah. Kirkland. Um, there's nothing wrong with Kirkland. It tastes almost as good, I guess. I saw a chick today just wearing a sweater. That just said Kirkland signature, but like as if it was like as if it was saying like Polo Sports or whatever. Or yeah, like but like Balenciaga. And, and it almost looked so cool. It looked like it probably like it looked Dude, like I would she buy that. It looked like she bought it at Supreme. It's or Supreme, right? It, you maybe know, it is. but it was Kirkland signature, and I was like, oh, caray, you like that's almost so. That's 
it's that's it's so brilliant. bad it's amazing that's brilliant you know? no i would rock that like i would yeah. rock that i don't have a costume no. i'll tell you that's one of those things that when you uh when you get divorced and when you don't have a family anymore you don't need a Kirk, uh, no more uh, costco Kirkland, uh, in costco membership you, you don't you need know. it it is like that you know it but that's like where that. i also used to get my tennis balls and stuff so now i'm like well, now you're for gonna get balls. some other ball mm, that sucks Hey, any questions before we get out of here, though? Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, uh, but people are saying... Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm saying, and Luke versus Mike. Uh, and Luke. BKS, oh, yeah. yes. Right. Is that this one? I'm interested in that, too. See, I, it's so f tricky to me. Why? Um, like, What's tricky? Mike Perry could win. I he here's what I would normally say he's gonna get killed, but after he how good he did with um MV Michael Venom Page, I was a little shocked at how good I thought he was gonna get s murdered, and I was a little shocked at how well he did in there. So I guess I wouldn't put it past him now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. BKFC is a different animal. It's interesting. Right. It and doesn't go how you think it's gonna go. Well, and I don't know either. And I saw Luke um, at the Bellator show when I was at that Bellator show when at Fedor's last show. So I saw Luke and we were talking and he and Gegard were talking and Gegard's fight's coming up too. But he and Gegard were talking and we were, the three of us were like geeking out like, oh man, it'd be so cool. Like, cause they were talking about fighting each other. Um, that would be really cool if those two ever mm. fought. But then yeah. Luke goes to BKFC and stuff. And yeah, it's a, you know, it's a different animal. And the thing, the whole thing is, is that people wondered about his chin so what does that do now that you're in bare knuckle how does that affect it how does i feel like things? he's so much fucking bigger than mike I perry know. on on paint like luke should style on him but he can't kick him right so that's the thing and that was with with michael venom page if there was in a bare knuckle kickboxing he would have been in big right. fucking trouble <laughs> right but he can't kick yeah him. So that's what i'm saying like, but i don't know but luke hardcore the only thing I could see fucking him up is the speed advantage. I mean, like in terms because he's he's definitely got to be slower than than Mike Perry just because of the sheer size. Yep. I just don't know. That's why it makes it interesting. That's why I want to see this one. Yeah. Because I, I don't know what to say. I would normally say I don't see how he could beat Hawkeye, but now all bets is off. You know, I don't know. I just see. Don't know. All right. So VT saying doesn't see it ending well for Luke because they see that Mike Perry is well suited for it, which he yeah, is. Like, I, it he, is he, Mike Perry's he, kind of. It, it it is. It's a different animal, you know. It's just I don't know. Yeah. I, I every every time I think I got it figured out, I I, I think I think it's just a different thing. Chaito says Luke might get DQ'd. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, well, this person asking what Lindian uh, or Lydian eighty four what AI art would you want to see of yourselves? I mean. <sighs> Honestly, I would like to see me living underwater. I I have always said that, like in a former life, I was like a turtle um, or something, and I I would like a in a former life, life you were a turd painted for me, and I lost it though. But I had a painting of me as a turtle, like me living underwater as a uh, as a um, sea ocean dwelling entity. I'd like to see you living underwater as a turd instead of a turtle, just in the in the sewer system, like a turd. A turd ill, a turd ill Thanks. instead of a turtle. So are you it then? If you're gonna see me in the sewer, does that mean you? That's fine with me. I'll see me as it. Uh, I don't know what would people want to see of us. I don't know what I would. I I never thought of it actually. I don't know. Um, you know how in Brazil there's the statue of the great, the Catholic. You mean put the, 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 the Cristo? Yes, put Hanato yeah. there instead of <laughs> the Christ, the Redeemer. But you know what I would? Oh, I've seen that already. People, have, many people have done the Photoshop of that. Oh, really? But I'll tell you what. Uh, no, I know what I would want to see. I would, what would I look like as various animal? I mean, like not a cross between an animal. Like what? If there was a dog of me, what would it be? If there was a, a I don't know, a fucking tiger or whatever the fuck it is, Just a bird. The dog. I would be curious. Somebody's leg going like this all day. You would be one of those dogs that they had on the cover of the back album or whatever. That fucking thing with the white dreadlocks or whatever. 
Oh, the pooly. Yeah, those are cute. You would be that, and you would be on my drums. And you'd I be think on it was Bush, mouth. though, not Beck. No, it's Beck. You, you it was fool. a Bush album. It was a Beck or the lay. You, 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 God damn it. Okay. Uh, can you have, can people, somebody in the comments come to my fucking defense? And she should know, never to, never, I know everything, uh, uh, Karen Branch. You'll always lose. Okay. Yeah, someone goes, oh, the lay. Ah, for fuck's sake. You know those ones that look like a fucking... Uh, I a, know, it's a pooly. They're called poolies. A Jamaican... Yes, it's a pooly dog. Right. Yeah, and what the fuck is that? What album pooly. is that? And it's what Kurt album Godelay. is that? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh. For I mean, you, you see now, people, what I'm dealing with on a day-to-day -day <laughs> basis? It's this. Uh, Okay. Okay, no, you're right. Um, but didn't Bush have one with this dog? I don't know. I don't listen to a lot of Bush albums, yeah, and I well, don't even Bush, know what. Guess what? I don't Bush, even know Bush, what the fuck I'm what? looking guess at what? there. Bush, guess what? Bush had one with a hairy ass dog too. But I don't even know what that is. That looked well, like. Well, a... we're both right, bruh. Guess what? We're both right. Oh my god, boy! See, see. This is the one from the Bush one. We're both right. I don't even know what the fuck that we're is. We're both right. God. Damn you it. are both wrong. No, we're both right. It's a Can push. someone help? Help. Well, this one's saying it's a Commodore, which is Hungarian, which is different uh, from a from a Puli. But listen, I worked the dog show, the 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 dog show three times. But yeah, Commodore. Yeah, you I won that the, thing. I think it's a Puli. You won that Com thing three times in a row. You you have the crippled charm, uh, the triple crown. The Commodore. He's right though. There is a Commodore. The one of them is a Commodore, I think, and one of them is a Puli. Which 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 division were you in? The best, the the sports or the uh the working class or the working? I was in the toys. You are using the toys? <laughs> I do. I mean, yeah. what, what else am I supposed There's to? There's nothing Hinato? left. Hanato. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what are my options? <laughs> what? Yeah, and don't God. you dare ever make a clip of this. I will. <laughs> I will kill you. I'll use any stuff I want. I mean, Archiste. I mean, Archiste. Don't you dare. I will report you. I'll do whatever I want. I never boy. said that. I never said that. Hmm. We need to wrap up this show. Okay, everybody. You guys have been spoiled tonight. Oh, you God. got you oh, had God. more than you deserve. Yeah. Um, All right, Hanach. Um, always great seeing you. Always Where great. It is great seeing me. I, 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 and it's great for the fans to see me too. <laughs> um. So anyway, okay, everybody. Where can people find you? Oh, uh, they can find me at Hanato underscore Laranja. Probably the best place. It is a perfect. It's the perfect amount because there's only a hundred and ten thousand people in there. So you, you have some elbow home, but you also, you know, you know, you're in the. It's elevated, you know, in one of the best. Uh, but you're not gonna be competing with like fourteen million people or something like that. So it's nice. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I want to say boutique. thank you to all of our our day ones and all of our real ones in the comments and stuff. Mm. We really appreciate you guys. You're a big part of the show. And all the uh, female out there. And mean. a big part, a big part of uh, 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 of Y Tuesday so fun. But yeah, if you missed any of the part with KG, uh, go back and tune in. Talked about dropping down to one seventy. Talked about you know reinventing himself, working with Henry Cejudo, uh, enjoying the Mexican. Uh, let's just say um, um, flora and fauna. <laughs> oh. Working uh, with uh, Jack Black and Chinesis G or whatever. Yeah, yeah. KG. Uh, yeah, um, so, so it yeah. was a heel treat for everybody it was okay so folks yeah hopefully you can tune in this friday we have ufc live and the pre-show uh and then saturday you know obviously fights um and uh yeah i have actually cannot do something cool i'm doing on thursday i'm doing an interview with chatri the uh, owner of one fc the uh, president of one fc so no shit yeah i'll be talking to chatri so well, tell him uh, to we'll start paying us for some stuff or something yeah, so sure, I'll get it right on that. But uh, I will be interviewing him. I won't. I won't do it live as a live interview. But I, although I, I mean, that'd be interesting. We could. That's a thought. 
we could just go live, but that makes me a little nervous. I think I'd rather edit it. So anyway, but uh, yeah, so I will edit that and put that out. But yeah, like I'm very interested actually to get to know him. They, you know, they have a big show coming up and stuff like that. So that will be cool. That, oh, hi, kitty. Hi. Hey. Hi. What's the name? Olive. Hi, Olive. Don't freak out. You, you're a celebrity now. Look. Oh, what a cute. I know. She's cute. She's cute. But she, she don't like cute. to be forced to do shit. Okay. Okay. Cut on you. Oh, Back. The P doesn't like to be forced. Imagine that. Listen. Uh, Sometimes you got to just take it like I did. I just took it. You know? <laughs> you just... I'm kidding. Don't. I'm kidding. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we really do appreciate it. As I mentioned before, these shows are all available as audio downloads as well on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, Stitcher, and Amazon Music. So you can check those out. This was episode 80. So you can find these on Hanato's Twitch channel. You can find these on festivities.com on my Karen Bryant YouTube channel. If you're here on YouTube, subscribe. I got a ton of cool uh, MMA videos and stuff like that for you to check out. But yeah, episode 80. So we've been doing this for a minute. There's lots to check out. We've had a lot of great guests. 80. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Wow. It's pretty cool. Well, Hanato, thanks for joining me. Uh, great to see you. Listen, you're welcome, you know. It's the least I can do for you at this time, at this challenging trying time. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I, I promise, folks, he won't be Tucker Carlson. He'll be here next week. I won't, oh, I won't call uh, him tomorrow and tell him he's canned. Uh, you know, I'm going to wear, next time I'm going to dress like that fucking piece of yeah. shit. I'm going to start dressing like him. Oh, God, are you? Okay. Now, I'll see die. you later, oh. folks. Thanks okay. for joining us. Bye. <laughs> Um. Oh, good times. Good times. <laughs>